All right, ladies and gentlemen, as ever, my name is Shane. That's Shane is Games, and tonight we are going to be playing Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis for the PC. This will be our very first time playing it, so if you're just joining us, you haven't missed a thing. But if you'd like to check out some of the games I've played in the past, be them obscure, unusual, or nostalgic, feel free to check out my YouTube channel. But for right now, let's get into this thing, shall we? Capture goes okay. Come on! Oh my god, is it gonna be giving me trouble here? Of course it's not capturing this part, dang it! Come on! OBS? Anytime? There we go. All right, Jones, how are you going to find that statue and all this junk? So, funny story, this is technically a, the second version of the game. When this game was originally released, it did not have voices. And they later released a version they literally called the talkie version, because it had voices in it. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry about that part at the beginning there. Stubby, welcome in. How are you doing today? <laughs> Sky, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. All right, so let's take a look around here. It's some kind of funeral urn. It's a stone carving of Shiva. All right. It's a copy of an Egyptian statue of Horus. <laughs> oh, it's not Tom Selleck. He was originally supposed to play Indiana Jones, wasn't he? Like. I, I feel like he could have done it, but I'm very happy that uh, Harrison Ford did the job. It's a genuine candlestick. A genuine candlestick, not a fake one. That's beautiful. He was! I, I just the mustache. <laughs> the mustache would have thrown me off so much. Marcus still thinks this chest belonged to Columbus. The fool! It's a medieval gargoyle, or a good imitation. Here. Poor Marcus. He thought this was a Maasai warrior. The fool! <laughs> Oops. Oof. Now, personally, I still think these graphics look spectacular. Like, this is beautiful. Tell me this isn't beautiful. Let's see. It's still Crash. How are you doing today? Hope you were having a good weekend. Glad to have you with us. Is it Goliath? I love that cartoon, Commander Keen. It was so good. <laughs> it's okay. He's fine. He's fine. Just needed to brush himself off there. Looks like beadwork. From the label says, unidentified potsherds. Potsherds? That, that line has always bothered me. The label says, unidentified potsherds. 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 Looks like beadwork from the Phoenix Collection. Potsherds. That's, is that actually a real word? They had him voice the line, so I imagine somebody must have thought it was legit. Oh, good to hear, Crash. Good to hear. <laughs> Marcus thought Potlatch Indians carved this. Looks like a movie prop to me. I like how Indy's just spending the entire intro to the game just donkey on Marcus. <laughs> it is a real word. I thought it would be pot shards. Isn't it? Sh I know what the sh word shards. Looks like textiles from the Shamut collection. A fragment of broken pottery, especially one found in an archaeological excavation. That's so weird to me. I just assumed it would be pot shards. Because I know the word shards. Wow! 
Indy is having a day right now. <laughs> He's having some struggles here. <laughs> is he dead this time? No, nope, he's all right. He's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> he's struggling through here. It's good. <laughs> Crash, you're excited for a nice point and click, so this is great. Excellent. Glad I could provide. I love me some adventure games. The A2 welcome in virtual desktop. How are, are, uh, what, what do you got going on with your setup? I'm curious now. <laughs> Lucas starts educating us every day. I mean, I learned something there. I'll take that. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's two concussions for giving Harrison part already. He's having such a bad day. He <laughs> saw his healing surges left. Perfect. Perfect. He can always long rest if he comes down to it. I don't need them. They're just textbooks. Alright. Focus on tools. I think I've read them all. All of these? Where do you have time? Where do you of all people find time? It's an old lecture hall desk. Let's see, books on weapons! There's nothing of importance here. Uh, books on dig sites! There's nothing of importance here. Yeah. Let's see, there's an exit back here. The stairway is closed for repairs. Yeah, all right. Um, what else we Books on statues. He did say he was looking for a statue. Let's see what we got here. These books don't look familiar. Uh-oh. No! Wait. <laughs> That's number three. Uh, I think we have a. I think we have a theme today of head trauma. Is what I've seen. I mean that that could that could definitely kill a person. Have an entire bookcase fall on you and then smash you through the floor and come Game on. the lead. <laughs> you better get that roof checked. <laughs> really? How about your skull, Indy? Jeez. Hey, B heard. Welcome in. EP brought me here. Here's uh, some bits for the discovery. Well, thank you so much for the bits. I appreciate that. Welcome in. Glad to have you with us. Hope you have a good time here. Oh man, the A2! Are you watching me from VR? That's badass! Welcome in, the A2. Kiwi, welcome in. How are you doing today? Hope you're doing good. EP, glad to have you with us. How are you doing today? That man no longer has bones. Seriously, how is he? How is he still alive? He's a tenured professor. He's got decent insurance. What he? Yeah, I mean, even we've seen the movies. He gets beat up a lot. How is he standing this? Lars Mandel, welcome in. So I played this when I was a kid, like a little kid, but I never beat it, so this is functionally the first time. <laughs> Best way to escape an enemy is to book it. <laughs> I mean, I think it could be a little bit of both Commander Key, quite possibly. Blackrock, yes, we beat Halo 2 yesterday, it's in the VOD if you're curious. This game brings up so many memories, oh that's awesome. It is a classic, most definitely. Oh, let's see, what do we got here? Looks pretty slippery. A coal chute, well, we're definitely not going down there. Oh, what do we have here? A cheap copy of a Siamese idol. Alright. Whoa! Yo! Oh, come on! I'm not even gonna make it out of the intro sequence, am I? This man's gonna die. <laughs> If you're curious what happened to Indiana Jones in the end, uh, apparently just massive, massive head trauma. Oh, no, he's good. He's good. We're fine. <laughs> Lee 2 that is the future right there, my friend. That is the future. <laughs> Back when I had a Google Cardboard, I watched a couple movies in VR, and it was just a surreal experience. I don't know if I liked it, but it was interesting. <laughs> Let's see, had the demo for this game in brand spanking new 486 back in the day. Oh my gosh, I, that might have been the uh, the non-voiced version if it was that old, which is interesting. Do we have a new drinking game 10 minutes in? Take a sip every time Indiana Jones gets a head wound. <laughs> it's hot. 
I'd imagine a furnace would be. Uh, what else we got here? It's too slippery to walk up. Well, I guess we're stuck down here then. A fine sample of bitumen. Don't be a nerd about it, Indy. Uh, check these lockers here. He was just checking. Master V, welcome in. How are you doing today? Oh, his hat buffs his armor class. Well, that helps. That works well. <laughs> Haven't found VR movies yet, but definitely gotta get a look into that. The one I found is it makes a VR surrounding like a movie theater, and then it's just a video player right there, which is pretty wild. <laughs> Oh my goodness. That's a pronounce. I've never actually heard that word spoken out loud. I've seen it written, but I've never actually heard anyone say it before. Larry B, welcome in. How are you doing today? I'll be. Here's what I've been searching for. There's that stupid statue. Strange looking thing. I wonder where Marcus picked it up. Also, why was it in the basement like this? That's weird, right? That seems weird. Thank you for the GG, Larry. I appreciate that. I, I would have assumed bitumen. Something like that, bitumen. That sounds a little bit rude. <laughs> yeah, seriously, Kiwi. Figure it out, Indy. What the heck? Doc Belvin, welcome in. How are you doing? I'm back. Indy? You don't look at all well, Dr. Charles. Exploring our collections can be dangerous, Mr. Uh, what was your name again? Smith. Tell me, did you find a lock to match my key? You bet I did. Take a look. What are you waiting for? Let's open it. Why not? It's an obvious fake. You may think so, Doctor, but I believe we are opening a new chapter in history. My word, India, small metal bead. Jewelry, perhaps? I still think it's a fake. Then you won't mind if I take it? Yes! Really, Mr. Smith? Stand back, gentlemen. I hope you've got a getaway car waiting. You'll need one. Hmm. What is pipes? He got away. But we got his coat, Marcus. Hey, what's this? Klaus Kerner, huh? Good lord, Indy. The man's some sort of agent from the Third Reich. Yes! What is the spy one for the Buddhist statue? <sighs> I lied, Marcus. I don't think it's a phony. I can't place this style, but it's old. Look what else our friend was carrying. An old copy of National Archaeology. And there you are in Iceland. Yeah, field supervisor for the Jastro expedition. My first real job. Who's the woman? Sophia Hapgood. She was my assistant. A spoiled rich kid from Boston, rebelling against her family. But where is she now? She gave up archaeology to become a psychic. How odd. You can say that again. Indy, Kerner found you. What if he finds her? We should warn the woman. You're right. I want to know more about that statue. You know, Marcus, the coldest year of my life was the one I spent in Iceland with Sophia. We're heading to New York City. <laughs> that is a weird thing to just throw out there. 
Unasked. <laughs> Alright, Lars, you were asking if this is my first playthrough of the game. Technically, I played it when I was a little kid, but I didn't get very far, and that was so long ago I don't really remember much. But I never beat it when I was a kid, so this will be uh, pretty much the first time for me. Let me get caught up right here. Oh, that over a bead, surprisingly. Dude seemed like he was willing to kill for it, though, so we'll have to see. Yeah, the voice acting is very fun, and that music in uh, MIDI, too, is just really good. I like it. Uh, let me get caught up. Also, Rook's Honor, how are you doing today? Hope you're doing well. And Kaysita, glad to have you with us. Hope you are doing good. This is already super charming. I know, like, right out of the gate. It's just really nice. <laughs> Which type of gameplay option did he pick? We haven't gotten to the point where you pick yet. You'll, we'll be picking later on, but I've already got one in mind, but we'll talk about what that when we get to it, Rex. Alright, so... So now we've got our verbs on the screen as well as our inventory. Uh, but this is one sort of innovation that they have in this game that they didn't have in the previous one. So you still have the nine verb grid down here. But one of the big things is, if you notice, if I put my cursor over an object, you notice one of the verbs lights up. So what the controls are in this game is if I left click, I walk just to whatever object I'm clicking on. But if I right click, it automatically does whatever the highlighted verb is. That's the, they, I believe the term they use is shortcut. So it's just whatever the most obvious verb is, um, is highlighted. So, that you, so you can just right click. So obviously, like right here, the newspaper, I probably want to look at it so they just highlight that. So it's very nice. I like that. It's a nice little, uh, what do you call it? Uh, quality of life change. I appreciate it. Lobster! Oh god. <laughs> also, for anybody curious, in the Indiana Jones timeline, this takes place after all three of the uh, main movies. In case anybody's curious. Uh, Alright, so the first thing I need to do is I need to figure out how to save, because I didn't actually look up how to do that. <laughs> uh... So let me see if I can figure out how to uh, save the game in here. Let's, let's make go ahead and make a uh, go ahead and make a save before we go too far. Uh, let's see. Oh, there we go. F five is how we save. So let's go ahead and make a new save right here. Uh, New York. There we go. Successfully save the game. Cool, cool. Uh, also, for anybody curious what version of the game I'm playing, I'm playing the Steam version, but I'm running it through Scum VM manually, because that gives me some nice extra features. I want to talk to the newspaper. That is, uh, we can do some goofy things in here. <laughs> yeah, it's just Indiana Jones making fun of Marcus the entire time. Alright, let's go ahead and get it. Uh, let's take a look at the marquee first. Imagine the suckers who actually pay to see Sophia's Lost World lectures. Wow, roasting Sophia too. We're off to a great start. Hello there. The show sold out, sir. But... No seats, no standing room, no exceptions. Well, shoot, we can't just go in and buy it with a ticket, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Kiwi, that is always a classic twist right there. <laughs> there is a lot of head trauma in here already. It's today's paper. Alright, can we pick up newspaper? We can. Alright, uh, what else we got? We got a phone booth right here. I can't make a call, I'm out of nickels. Nickels! We got this, this is the 1940s. Oh, uh, what else have we got over here? Let's try checking the alley around back. <laughs> Arguments! Oh god. Oh, there's a side door, maybe we can just walk in here. Running riot. Hmm, it's unlocked. Hey, Beard, thank you for the bits. What do you want, pal? This ain't no ticket office. Thank you so much for the bits, Be Heard. I appreciate that. Very kind of you. Talk to the newspaper. Alright, here, let's uh, uh let's see if we can get in here. I'm here to I'm here to enjoy Madam's outrageous orations. 
this ain't that kind of show. What? Um... Oh, of course not. Madam Sophia is a serious thinker. Don't kid around, pal. You're talking about my idol. Alright, um... No kidding. I think she's the greatest. Me too. There's something about her. Alright, I think we can play her right here. Yeah, she's very smart. Smart? I'll say. You know what I really like? It's the way she... she... Um... <laughs> Look at the options here. Look at that first one especially. Oh my god. I think she's the bee's knees the cat's pajamas. <laughs> I do like how well they're aping Harrison Ford's voice here. It is going pretty well. Um... The way she makes things easy to understand? That's it. All that smart stuff seems so easy when I'm listening to her. Say, you're okay for a college boy. Come on in. Oh, alright. We talked him into it. Alright, so I'm going to pause here, because this is a great place to talk about what's so interesting about this game. And what's so interesting about this game is that most puzzles in the game have multiple solutions. For example, that one right there, trying to get into the theater through that side door, there's actually three ways you can solve that one. So I chose... Uh, I chose to, uh, you know, talk him into it by convincing that we really like Sophia and we're a fan, so he lets us in. But there's two other ways as well. Excuse me. Alright, so one way we can do it is if you just completely roast that guy, eventually he will uh, attempt to beat the crap out of you. And you get into a fist fight with him, and if you win the fist fight, you knock him unconscious and then you can just waltz in. <laughs> That's also a valid solution to this one. Also, if you notice off to the right side of the screen there, there's a whole bunch of boxes. If you spend enough time pushing the boxes there, you can eventually make a path to a fire escape. And you can get in through the fire escape as well without even touching the door or talking to the bouncer right there. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's really exciting that there's uh, different solutions. And sometimes you can try to like talk somebody into something and instead get roped into a fist fight, which is hilarious. There was a box puzzle, but I didn't touch it. <laughs> so yeah, they do have a lot of... Uh, I didn't do the box puzzle. There is a lot of different uh, solutions to the puzzles in here, which I think is really cool. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and save the game again. Because you actually can die in this game, so let's not mess around. There we go. Alright, what do we got there? So there's Sophia. Hey! You must be the new doorman. About time they got rid of Biff. He was such a pushover. Oh, uh, let's see. I need to talk to that so-called psychic. It's Madam Sophia to us employees, fella. Hmm, alright, so he's not gonna let me over there. What is that? I don't, can't actually select that, so I'm not sure. Uh, let's see, so let's see if we can talk to the stagehand first. Excuse me. Take it easy and watch the show. Here, my friends, is Atlantis. As it might have appeared in its heyday. Glorious. Prosperous, socially and technically advanced. Beyond our wildest dreams. 5,000 years ago, while everyone else still wore animal skins, the mighty spirits of Atlantis dared to build a city where knowledge and power were united in true happiness. Centuries later, the famous philosopher Plato wrote about it. He placed Atlantis on a continent out in the deep ocean and described how it was divided into three circular parts, such as you see here. Isn't she something? She can go on for hours. 
All right, interesting. Widescreen in 1935. I'm not actually sure what uh, what uh, format they had for film back then. Come to think of it, Rooks, that is hilarious. Oh my god. <laughs> Checkmate, Atlanteans! Uh, let's see, can we talk to him now? Excuse me. Shh! She's just coming to the exciting part! What befell the Serene City? We may never know for sure. Was it the sea level, slowly creeping higher? Or the Earth itself, suddenly shifting? However it happened, Panic must have gripped the citizens. On that fateful day when proud Atlantis sank beneath the waves. Or, perhaps it was a volcanic eruption, and something remains even now. On some questions, the great spirit who guides my thoughts, the all-seeing Nurab Sal, is silent. I've been through this a hundred times. The woman never stops. The all-seeing who? 1.37 by 1. Interesting. So, just, uh, just try a shy of, uh, squarish. That's interesting. Will you say 4 by 3 in 1935? Very interesting. Uh, let's see. The uh, Disney's latest? I love Disney's latest. Very underrated movie. Excuse me. Yeah, what now? Alright, now we can talk to him. Good, good. Uh, let's see what we got there. Um. You look tired. Wouldn't you like to call it a day? Nah, sooner or later I get to run the ghost out there. That's always a big moment. I'm sorry, you get to run the what? Excuse me. Yeah, what now? <laughs> Pure nap, pal. Get boy Tad? <laughs> um. Isn't there something you'd rather be doing? Like what? Show business is my whole life. Um. Don't you ever read? Sure, it's a hobby of mine. I like reading. What if I give you something to read? I might take a look. Oh, well, we do have this newspaper. Uh, give newspaper to stagehand. Here. Well, well, the late edition. I wonder if the Dodgers won. Watch the lights while I find out, okay? Yeah, sure, no problem. Take care now! Alright, so we've got three levers on here. A left one, a middle one, and the right one. Which should we try messing with? I'll leave it up to you, chat. Which one should I hit first? Kiwi Kalima! <laughs> Will says middle. Alright, let's see what we can do with the, the middle lever. Did it say anything? It's a lever. Let's see, push, middle lever. Oh, it didn't do anything. Commander Keen, you say left, let's try that one. Push, left lever. It didn't do anything either. Let's try pushing the right lever then. Oh, that lit up the lights. Uh, Alright, so the lights are lit up. Let's try pulling the middle lever now. It's a lever. Oh, nope. Uh, pull. Middle lever. Oh, now they're green. I'm pulling the left lever now. Nope. Alright, it's making a lot of noise. Let's try pulling this lever now. Nope. So, I, you can, is there something we can do once it's all lit up? Oh, there's a button. Let's push the button. 
There it goes. Oh no! And I still feel the presence of Atlantis through... Uh... May I present Nurab Sal, the great Atlantean god of... Of... Deceit! <laughs> Deceit! Thanks, Cindy. Indiana Jones? You've got some nerve. Go back, you big jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> Oh, great. Oops. Good night, folks. Hey, Sophia! <laughs> Come on, mister. I've got a few words to mince with you. <laughs> I'd say it's about time. Good seeing you there, Sophia! Oh, no! Looks like Kerner got here first. Stay put. No one here. Nor here either. Huh. Yes! Dr. Uberman, fantastic news. We found the treasure we see. Hiding in the boxes, how diabolical. And then he just walks away. <laughs> That's the second time Kerner slipped away. What does a Nazi spy want with old statues? Have you seen the newspaper? Listen to this. Germans claim victory in worldwide race to smash the uranium atom. Chief scientist Dr. Hans Uberman announces plan to harness new sources of energy for the Third Reich. So? Um... Practical results are years away. Of course they are. That's why they're looking for the power of Atlantis. Be serious. I used to think you'd make a good scientist. Uh. Let's see, what, what are we gonna accuse her of here? Yet you've been concealing important artifacts. Artifacts such as archaeology has never seen. Hmm. You're lucky I don't have you arrested. So what if I kept a few pieces for myself? Look for a small coppery bead under those clippings in my desk. What do you know? Kerner missed the grand prize. What? My necklace. Watch closely. The bead is made of auric calcum, the mystery metal first mentioned by Plato. Now I'll place it in the medallion's mouth. Did you see that? Yeah, creepy. Is your electric bill paid up? That was Nurab Sal. His spirit is close. We caught up on chat. Be heard, you hear I'm from Chicago? I am from Chicago, yes. Pearl Hanto, welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. <laughs> yeah, Blackrock, this is a beautiful game. I love this style of pixel art. I think it's so good. <laughs> Yeah, it does kind of have a James Woods tone to his voice, too. I can hear that. <laughs> Laplagam, hope you're doing good. Glad to have you with us. Did the room move for you, too? <laughs> the metal of orc weapons in Tamriel. I know, you hear orc calcum in fantasy a lot, most definitely. Um. Nurha, what? 
Suppose I gave this aura calcum business any credence, which I don't. Um. We have no idea where to find your mythical lost city. Shh. I'm getting something. Narab Sal speaks. He bids us find the... What? A, a book, yes. The Lost Dialogue of Plato. Another fine myth. Um. If Plato wrote it, later authors would have reported it. What if the Nazis have already found a copy? You ever think of that? Hmm. I like how all it is, and he's like, that doesn't exist, and she's like, what if the Nazis have it? And he's like, mmm. <laughs> he's like, if there's any chance it actually does exist, I'm gonna need to punch some Nazis. <laughs> no lady, another fine myth was by Robert Aspirin! I think I actually might have that book in the house, too. Which is wild. <laughs> um, let's see. You found this stuff in Iceland, right? Yes, near our old dig site. I thought so. Who's working there these days? Bjorn Heimdall, I believe. Maybe we should pay him a visit. What do you say? I thought you'd never ask. And we're heading to Iceland! Mano, welcome in. As a kid, I thought Orichalcum was Amber! I can see it. Alright! Uh, let's go ahead and save here again. Save... Iceland. There we go. Getting railroaded by the DM? I mean, if it works, I suppose. <laughs> if it exists or not, you should punch the Nazis. It's true. Any excuse. Literally any excuse. That is a heck of a name, though, Gamer Gubo, isn't it? <laughs> Drav, welcome in. How are you doing today? Alright, what do we got around here? There's an encampment over there. Let's see over here. There's a, a dig site over here, too. Well, let's check out the encampment first, then. It looks like someone's still living here. Hmm. Might be in luck, then. Let's see. Be heard. My works brings me to Chicago almost every year, dropping off approximately 25,000 tons of broad salt. We do need a lot of that here, most definitely. Well, awesome! If you ever want to know any uh, cool stuff to see around the city, let me know. I'm always happy to share. We've even got a command for it! Exclamation mark pizza for my favorite pizza places in Chicago. Laugh Game had a teacher with the name Heimdall. Did he look like he might have secretly been a, 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 a god? Because, like, if they had, like, the big white beard and, like, were completely ripped, that would be really cool. <laughs> Yeah, 90, 30 years ago, Drab, can you believe it? Wild. 2601 played through this for the first time a few months ago, awesome. I originally played some of this as a little kid, but I never finished it. So I'm looking forward to being able to see what's in there. Uh, all right, so, uh, open encampment? It doesn't seem to open. How do we go in there? It looks like someone's still living here. Can we not go in the encampment, I guess? I guess we can't go in the tent, so let's go in the old dig site then. Maybe he worked in mysterious ways? That's possible. That's possible. <laughs> it brings back a lot of memories of the Jastro expedition. Alright, I can click to go in there. There we go. Ah, oh, there it is. Well, let's go talk to Bjorn here. <laughs> Sorry, Bob. Hello. Dr. Indiana Jones, I believe, and Madame Sophia Hapgood. This is my dig site now. Go away. Wow! Flew all the way here to Iceland, and the first thing he tells us is to screw off. Wow. 
Wow. Um. I thought you were digging up Norse graves in Denmark. I was. Obviously, now I'm not. Wow, he's a great conversationalist here. Not feeling very friendly today, are we? I like solitude. It helps me think. Doctor, what do you expect to find here? The secret of hyperbervia. That's what the Greeks called Iceland, you know. You've read how they sailed north to a fog-shrouded land, and how they never set foot upon it? Ha! <laughs> After traveling thousands of miles, mere fog wouldn't turn them back. Some idiots claim they've ever tailed by ghosts. Puppycock, you know what actually stopped them, Sean? This guy has the worst accent of all time. <laughs> Yeah, he's a real charmer there, 26, uh, 2601. Yes, that's the other thing I always point out. If you're coming to the Chicago area, if you're willing to drive a little bit outside of the city, we do have the biggest arcade on the planet here. I always recommend that. <laughs> hey, Saturn, welcome in. All right, cool, I will check it out. Uh, let's see. No, but I'm sure you're going to tell me. He was stopped by a force field put here by beings not of this earth. Oh. Hmm, that's fascinating, Doctor. Force field! Gotcha! Gotcha. Oh no, Herr Uberman, oh no. <laughs> um... Have you ever heard of Plato's Lost Dialogue? Yes, there are rumors about such a book, but I've yet to see it. There are two people you might want to visit. Charles Sternhardt in Tikal, a shady fellow, who claims he translated the whole thing. And Philippe Costa in the Aethos Island. As a researcher, he's a fart, but he's a sharp trader. Alright. Why did these beings show up here? I am convinced that these travelers came to Earth to form colonies like Atlantis, using Hyperborea as a spaceport. Up north here, we're close to the ether. It's a perfect landing site. This guy is a terrible archaeologist. Holy crap. Orbital Beetle, welcome in. I'm not sure what that is. I don't think we got a good view of it yet, but we'll find out. <laughs> Yeah, that breaks my heart, Rin. I wanted to go to that place so bad. Hopefully they start doing it again one of these days. <laughs> Commander Keen, that did seem to be the case literally always in Stargate. Um... So what's the link between Hyperborea and Atlantis? Right, the Yastro expedition, the one you're about to work on. Recently I saw pieces from it, pieces that are clearly Atlantean. I see. Somebody must have been selling them. Go ahead, blame it all on me. I mean, I might. <laughs> uh, let's see. So you completely discount the supernatural? Completely. If it's supernatural, you won't. Talk to Sternhardt and Costa. Alright. What is this thing you're working on? The bronze eel here? Oh, it's a, probably a homing beacon for wayward spaceships. Oh, of course. Soon I'll have it out of the ice. Homing beacon. Wayward spaceships. So long. Good luck, fellow believer. <laughs> wow, alright. That went places. Uh, let's see if we can look at that thing he's trying to chisel out. It's an eel figurine trapped in ice. But it looks like what he's claiming. Interesting. Yeah, real archaeology tends to be very, very tedious. But what are you gonna do? No, Saturn, this is actually a new story. This was, uh, I, I think, I don't think they ever published it like that. But the original design documents referred to this as Indiana Jones 4. So they meant this to be a sequel to the movies. Which is interesting. Talk to the eel! 
That sounds like some sort of weird diss. I can't walk into the encampment here. That's unfortunate. I don't think there's anything we can pick up around here. Alright, so let's walk over to the truck then. Let's head for the airport. Alright, so I can choose where I want to go now. Alright. Talk to the eel because the flounder don't care. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so we, we can choose where to go. He mentioned the Azores and Tikal. Let's start with the Azores. That guy sounded like he might not know what's up, but the other guy was shady. But we'll go here first and see what we can find out, and then we'll go from there. God, the art of this game is so good. This is his house? This is it. Ed, welcome in. I think Costa was one of the guy's names, possibly. <laughs> God damn it, Gamer Gerbo. Alright, so... Uh, let's see, anything to see out here? Nope. Let's go ahead and then... Or actually, let's save first. Uh, save... Oh, this one... Azores. And Rin, you said you want to go to the Azores? I don't know anything about them, but they look beautiful from this right here. Alright. Mr. Costa? Yeah, there we go. This better be important. Be careful, Indy. Humor him. Trust me. I suppose you're selling something. If it's not a priceless artifact, I don't want it. Yeah, Mr. Costa in the Azores. Oh, let's see. I hear you know something about Plato's lost dialogue. Maybe so, maybe no. Who are you? Um... I'm Indiana Jones. I'm Costa, and I'm tired of talking to you. Oh, damn it! Indiana? What kind of stupid name is that? <laughs> nice going, Indy. I could have done better. Yeah, sure. Uh, Alright, let me try that again. Let's try that one more time. Mr. Costa? You again? What do you want? Um... I hear you know something about Atlantis. Ha! Wouldn't tell you if I did. Um... Come on, I'm a fellow believer. Is that right? Do you know where Atlantis is? Um... Well, yes, of course I do. Oh, do tell! Oh, he called me, um... Somewhere under the ocean? No, no, no! Come closer, boy, and I'll tell you. You're standing on it. What? The Azores? No one believes me. That hurts. I don't want to hear a word. <laughs> Can we talk to her? Sophia? Yes? Oh, we can talk to her. How'd we get mixed up with this screwball? The screwball in Iceland, remember? Who am I? Just the title character is all. The name of the dog, Indiana. <laughs> Here, you talk to the man. My pleasure. Oh, we can actually oh we can actually switch over to Sophia here. Alright. Uh, she's got her necklace here. Can we look at that? My necklace. Oh, she doesn't have anything else to see about. Alright, let's see if Sophia'll do any better. Mr. Costa! Pipe down, I'm coming! He's a touchy old bird. 
Watch and learn, Dr. Jones. All right, let's see what you got. Well, hello, beautiful. Oh, we appear to have an inn already here. Um. Professor Costa, my name is Sophia Hapgood. Madam Sophia? A renowned psychic? I like how he hasn't heard of Indy, but he's heard of Sophia here. That's amazing. I hope my friend didn't pester you too much. He's a friend of yours? Well, no, he didn't pester me that much. <laughs> I think that right here actually is named after the family dog. Oh my god. How does she know that? <laughs> I was kind of waiting for him to slam the door in my face as soon as I leaned in closer. <laughs> Under Millennium Park? Millennium Park is a weird place. No, it's definitely not Harrison Ford, but they did a good imitation, I think. I really like their, uh, their job here. We need some help from you. Happy to oblige. Zoe's, uh, not willing to talk to Indy, but a pretty lady? He'll help. He'll help. What can you tell us about Plato's Lost Dialogue? What do you want to know? Um... Do you have it? Nope. Alright, easy enough. Have you read it? Nope. Alright, sure. Do you know what's in it? Not exactly. Can you get it for me? Sorry. Alright, no dice there. Do you know where we could find it? Well now, that depends. I might trade the information for a rare Atlantean artifact, such as a certain necklace I've heard about. What? I'll never trade away my necklace. Well then, if that's how you feel, surprise me. Um... Would you do business with my friend here? Madam, I'll do business with anyone. Thanks for your help. Goodbye for now. At your command, madam. Don't be a stranger now. Interesting character. Trade, huh? If not your necklace, then what, I wonder? Alright, so we're gonna have to get something Atlantean before he'll give us any information. <laughs> Rooks! All right, let's see if he has anything else to say. Mr. Costa! Why, hello! I still want to ask him about Atlantis. Um... We need your help. I've given you all the help I can unless you have something to trade. All right. I think we're Don't probably done here Don't be a stranger right now. now. He's a sweet old guy. Just another Atlantis addled mind. Alright, well in that case, let's uh get out of here for right now. We definitely don't have anything to trade. Aside from the necklace. Let's get out of here. The business end of my cane! <laughs> Alright, let's head to Tikal then. Let's see what's going on over there. Maybe we can find something to trade. Help us crank you on, you're our only hope. <laughs> Alright, let's make another save here. He call. There we go. Uh, let's see, what do we got? So we got the car there. Alright. Dark jungle path, jungle rodent. He looks like a jungle rodent. Hopefully he's not dangerous. Um. It's a path leading back to the truck. All right, we don't want to go back to the truck. Can we just head forward? Um. It's a path leading deeper into the jungle. Alright, let's head deeper into the jungle then. Oops. Oh, there we go. 
Alright, what do we got here? Giant Anaconda! Uh, let's look at Giant Anaconda. It's a snake. I hate snakes. We've heard, yes. Um, can we use Whip with Giant Anaconda? That doesn't seem to work. How does whipping the snake not convince him to get the hell out of there? <laughs> Rats of unusual size? I don't believe they exist. <laughs> does he call the Enkidna? Oh my god. Deep cut right there. Deep cut. <laughs> Capybara? Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, they just made it mad. LTG, welcome in. How are you doing today? Um... Let's see, let's look at... Tree. Hold on. I'm not going anywhere near that snake. Alright, so we need to figure out some way to get rid of the snake. Before we can actually go anywhere. What a smart looking bird. Can we talk to the bird? I can't talk to that bird from here. Oh, from here, of course we can't. Um... Look at three. Hold on. No. I'm not going anywhere near that snake. All right. Um. Let's head back in the jungle. Ooh, the anaconda needs something to read. If only. If only. Can we use use whip with jungle rodent? Oh, all right, we can convince him to bolt. Maybe if we drive the jungle rodent over towards the anaconda. That might be a thing. Oh, all right, hang on. No, oh, shoot. No, I'll go back in. You said this game is set after the events of the first three movies, so India has been witness to the actual Ark of the Covenant, a Kali worshipper pull out a man still beating her without killing him, and the actual Holy Grail. I mean, he was the same thing during the movies, too. He's always like, oh, no, all of that's not real. None of that is real. Although I kind of got the feeling from, like, the end of the Ark of the Covenant that, like, he does believe in this stuff, but... Like he's trying to be science-minded. That's kind of the vibe I got, anyway. All right, let's use the whip now. That critter's too far away. Right, we gotta get a little closer first. Right, use whip. Go that critter's too far away. Nope, we still gotta get closer. Use. Oh, seriously? Dang it. Um, I thought he was going to go in the thing right behind him. There we go. And then we let nature take its course. Oh, God. Good old Mother Nature. <laughs> well, they're dead. <laughs> Solutions. <laughs> <laughs> and then they both died at the end. Alright, let's take a look at this tree now. <laughs> it looks pretty flexible. Uh, can we push the tree? I can't move it. Um, we can't push the tree. Can we pull the tree? I can't move it. Oh, we can climb the tree. Whoa! Wow, some bridge. Hi, Indy. What? Hello. How did you get over here? While you were off bushwhacking, I found a path. <sighs> we had to take the hard way. What do we do now? 
We better find Sternhard. Yeah, we, we, we messed that one up. That Camibera died for nothing. <laughs> Kiss, welcome in. How are you doing today, Kiss? Hope you're doing well. Yeah, it's true, Doc Melvin. I mean, all of this can't possibly be real, so he's gotta be skeptical about something. She's David Attenborough, oh my god. <laughs> Alright, what do we got over here? We got a trinket stand. Uh, let's see. Let's see, look at kerosene lamp. Just a minute. That's my shop. Oh, hello. Can I help you with something? Postcard? Replicas of the temple? Souvenir mugs? Uh, no thanks, mister. Charles Sternhardt, PhD, independent thinker, researcher, and merchant. Alright, so this guy supposedly can give us some information, but also he's a shady character. We gotta be a little careful here. Yeah, it might be fine. It's probably fine. I wouldn't even worry about it. <laughs> oh no, Stubby! I'm, I'm, I, he's probably fine. I wouldn't worry about it. Uh, well, what can you tell us about Plato's Lost Dialogue? I'm the one who translated it, I can tell you that. I'd worry you were here to steal my last copy, but someone called Mr. Smith beat you to it. Oh no! Damn it! Ugh, so that Nazi guy was already ahead of us. What can you tell us about Mr. Smith? He showed up last week, a tall man with a German accent and a pistol. He could have taken all my souvenirs, but he only wanted the lost dialogue. Alright, uh... What can you tell us about the temple? Glad you asked. The locals claim my Indians built it. Now I ask you, does this look like the work of primitive savages, or does it seem much too civilized? How very British of him! <laughs> ah, that's true, Jody. Young Indiana Jones, very underrated show. I remember that being pretty decent, though I haven't seen it in a very long time. It was Sam Smith, damn him. <laughs> yeah, LTG, we're playing Kodelka after this one, and it'll probably be starting next week as well, so we are very close. Also, I have it right here. I am hyped for it, Trap. I am. I had something else in that schedule slot originally, but when I tested it out, I just wasn't feeling it. So I'm like, I got Kodelka right here. Let's just play that. <laughs> Seeking Chivalry, welcome in. I'm excited. I've never played it before. So I'm really hoping to play it. Can we take a look inside? How do I know that you aren't a pair of silly tourists? I only show the temple to reputable scholars. Um... I'm Dr. Indiana Jones. Is that scholarly enough? Indiana? Sounds like the name of one of your states. Or, or possibly a cat. Actually, it was the name of a dog. Shut up, Sophia! Sophia! <laughs> Damn it! Get called out here, that's rude. <laughs> yeah, Harrison Ford was in like one episode of Young Indiana Jones, but uh... Uh, Obi-Wan, whose name escapes me at the moment, he was in a whole bunch of episodes as, like, 20-something Indiana, which is really badass. That's true, Drab. I'm hoping, uh, if nothing else, I think the vibe will be exciting. Let's see, PS Plus added some new, uh, things. Oh, Shadowheart's got added to PS Plus! Nice, nice. Uh, yes, Shadow Hearts does have a shared universe with Kodelka. As a matter of fact, the the main character of Kodelka, who's actually a girl named Kodelka, she shows up in the first Shadow Hearts. Uh, plus the place where the game takes place, which is uh, Nemeton Manor, or Nemeton Monastery, uh, makes an appearance in both Shadow Hearts games as well. So yeah, same universe and everything. It's not like, they usually don't call it a sequel, because Kodelka is all about Kodelka and Shadow Hearts 1 and 2 are all about Yuri, but yeah, same universe, same universe. Ewan McGregor, thank you, Vin, that's what I was thinking of. 
PS1 Schloop. <laughs> now you can uh, have a digital copy of your own Schloop. It's a wonderful thing. Um, I'd really like to explore the temple. Tell me the name of the lost dialogue of Plato. What? Um... The Gluteus Maximus. Gluteus Maximus! <laughs> Too bad, old bloke, that's not the answer. Damn it, I thought that was it. Uh, can we talk to the bird now? Polly want a cracker? Polly want a cracker? Hmm. Echo. Echo. Bird just seems to parrot back whatever I say. Caribou. I'm trying to pull. What? <laughs> Gluteus Maximus? Gluteus Maximus! <laughs> A large human muscle! Interesting. Me and you. I'm trying to pull. <laughs> Alright, I think he's gonna be part of the solution here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Nettle Masher, it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting. How are you doing today, Nettle Masher? Hope you're doing good. If you have the Apple Arcade app, you can walk the Oregon Trail. Oh, that's so cute. I like that. Um, although, I, I, for anybody that ever hasn't seen it, there is a game out there called Zombies Run. That's a, uh... It, it's like sort of like an, almost like an uh, AR running app. The idea is it's a uh, like it, it's like a narrative zombie game. So when you go out for a run, like you just jog and you hear like this narrative about a zombie attack, and then like every once in a while, uh, there will be like, oh, there's zombies, you gotta run. So then you stop jogging and you actually have to run full out until they tell you to stop, <laughs> which is kind of rad. It's couch to 5K but gamified, right, right. They went to a subscription model, but from what I hear, they keep, like, adding content with, like, actual well-known voice actors, so I can understand why, at least. But it seems really cool. <laughs> oh, welcome back, Nettle Masher. Alright, um... There's nothing else to see over here. Can we just walk to the temple? Stop! Nope. Begging your pardon, you can't go in there. The temple isn't safe. I've got an idea. Excuse me. Yes? Um... I'd really like to explore the temple. Tell me the name of the lost dialogue of Plato. Um... I don't know the title. Title! Obviously, you're not serious about this. Alright, so it seems like the bird defines things sometimes when you talk to him. What happens if I say title to him? Title? Hermocrates! A friend of Socrates! Ooh, that could be it. Let's try that. Stop! Excuse me, the temple isn't open to the public. Let's see, Ren, when you get your kayak, you might use it for training on the lake. That does seem hilarious. Run away from zombies in the middle of the water. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, there are some IRL zombie runs, which are pretty funny. Um, if anybody remembers the movie Zombieland, um, I got to see Zombieland a day before it hit theaters because they did an event in Chicago where if you showed up to this one theater in zombie makeup, they'd let you show it uh, a day early. They'd let you watch it a day early. Um, except the gimmick was they didn't actually have you go straight to the theater. They had you go a couple walks away and then everyone just zombie walked over there. Which is, you know, obvious marketing, but still it was pretty hilarious. <laughs> Excuse me. 
Yes. Uh, let's see. About exploring the temple. Tell me the name of the lost dialogue of Plato. The Hermocrates. That's it. Oh yeah. That's it. Thank you, Parrot. Well now, perhaps I was wrong. You seem to know what you're doing. Walk this way, please. Oh, I don't trust this guy, Indy. I know what you mean. Come on. This guy does seem super shady, but still. Here we are. Let's see what you can do. Let's see what I can do. Alright, well, let's save first. Let's see. Save. You save. T. Call Temple. Alright. Uh, let's see. Why does he stop people from getting into the temple? Seems like a scam, LTG. I suspect he's running a scam. <laughs> well, you seem to be an expert on the topic. You only had to guess three times before randomly getting it. All right, let's take a look at this animal head here. Looks like it could use a nose. It does appear to be missing a little something. Um, take a look at these spirals over Engraved here. Engraved symbols of water and life. Interesting. This one looks different, more deeply etched. Uh, can we push it? I can't move it. No. Um, use spiral design? No. Uh, let's see, so there's that one particular one right here is a little bit different. He says it's symbols of water and life. Maybe we need to put water in there? Which we definitely don't have. Poor probably knows where Atlantis is. Yeah, can we just say Atlantis do it and he'll be like exactly the exact location? Right, can we talk Professor. to Professor? Yes. Um Don't you have to keep an eye on your store? Oh, I'm sure it's safe. I'd much rather keep an eye on you. Oh, he doesn't trust me either. Rude. <laughs> um let's see what else can we start. Say about. there. Yes. So you've never found anything here? No, I'm stumped. Oh, that's a shame, LTG, but that sounds like a lot of fun, though. Professor. Yes. The funny thing was, I have a great story about this uh, whole zombie land thing. So, I went with my old roommate, and she does really good makeup work. And so she did the zombie makeup, uh, but for me, like, like she did herself beforehand, but then when I got there, she's just like, you have to put on some zombie makeup, but she didn't have any, like, uh, wound stuff to put on, so she just mostly put on bruise makeup, and uh, when the conductor was, we took the train into the city, and when the conductor was going by, taking tickets from everybody, he saw me, and he actually did a legit double take, and he's like, what the hell happened to you? And I'm like, oh, it's makeup. We're going to a zombie thing. He's like, oh my god, that's so realistic. You know, hang on a second. And he left? And he went to another car for a minute? And I'm like, where the hell did he go? He's, he's supposed to be taking people's tickets. What is he doing? And a minute later, he comes back with another conductor, except the other conductor looks like he's like 16. And the guy points to me and he's like, you better keep in line, newbie. And if you don't, this is what'll happen to you. <laughs> and the guy's eyes popped right out of his head looking at me in the bruise makeup. <laughs> so I'm like, I appreciate the guy taking uh, advantage of the opportunity right there. That's brilliant. <laughs> Classic, right? I love it. I love it. Yeah, the guy looked terrified. Just absolutely just, oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> What was the purpose of this chamber? You have me there. Some sort of crypt? Hmm, alright. Um, let's see if we can switch to Sophia here. Can I talk to you, Sophia? What's up? 
Let's see. What do we do now? Let's keep looking. All right. Let's see if there's anything else to see in here. Nothing else there. So it's just that one darker spiral is the only thing to look This at. one looks different, more deeply etched. Let's see. But we can't push it, though. I can't move it. All right. Is there anything else to see in here, though? Looks like it could use a nose. Now, let's see. Can we push that? I can't move it. Can we pull it? I can't move it. No. Now, let's see. There's nothing else to see in here that I can see. Tales from the Crypt, you might say. I used to love that show. Um, talk to Sophia again. Sophia, let's talk. What's up? Could you talk to Sternhardt and keep him occupied? Okay. Dr. Sternhardt, I'd like to speak to you. All right. Can I bail while they're talking? Or do they notice that? Oh, I can actually bail while they're talking, all right. It's a lamp filled with kerosene. Uh, pick up kerosene lamp. Good thing that pest Sternhardt's not around. Yeah, screw that guy. All right, so we got the kerosene lamp. I don't think there's anything else to see here. Look at kerosene. It's a lamp filled with kerosene. Uh, I don't see anything else here. This path goes back around to the jeep. All right. Take a look around. Anything else? No, I don't think there's anything else to see here. All right, let's head back to the temple then. Time to loot everything. We did get the. Uh, we did get the kerosene lamp. Excuse me, won't you? Let's see what your friend is up to. Uh, nothing. Uh, let's talk to Sophia again. Sophia, let's talk. Distract him again. What's up? Uh, Could you try and keep Sternhart busy again? Again? He's a windbag. I know, I know. I've got another question for you, Doctor. Thank you, Sophia. Use curious. Excuse me, won't you? Oh! Let's see what your friend is up to. She can't keep him busy anymore, so maybe the kerosene lamp was all I needed to get with the, uh, with the distraction. Use kerosene lamp with the animal head. Well, that doesn't seem to work. I was hoping I could peek in there. Use kerosene lamp with spiral design. The kerosene won't pour out. So, you took my lamp, eh? I hope you know what you're doing. Uh, yeah, probably. I, maybe. Hey, Geek Boy, welcome in. How are you doing today, Geek Boy? I think I need to pour water in there, but I'm not sure where I'd get the water. Professor. There's not much more to talk about. Carry on, Dr. Jones. I can't talk to him again, so there's nothing to do there. Engraved symbols of water and life. He says there's symbols of water and life, so I think I have to get water and pour it in that one uh, design right there. I think. Now, how does he know it's his lamp? Seriously. <laughs> Oh, that's good, Geek Boy. Good to hear, good to hear. Um... Sophia, let's talk. What's up? All right, so we can't switch to here, her right here. Well, let's keep looking. Fine. All right. Well, we might need something else in that case. Let's take off right now. 
Wait for me, old bean. Alright, so we're gonna see if we can take a look around first. See if we can uh, visit the, all the locations we have access to, see if we can get any new items. And then we'll come back here, but I feel like this is where we need to be. Let's find the airport. That's a good thing, at least. You wrote his name on it? That nerd! <laughs> So let's pop back into New York real quick first. If there's anything else we can do while we're here. What are we doing here? Um. Let's look around. You go, I'll wait. All right. See if Indy can go to his office or Marcus's office. I'm not sure. All right, let's see if there's anything in here of note. Because we were in here before, but we didn't actually get to look around. I better call a glazier. Yeah, that guy broke the hell out of your window. Sorry. Nothing up here but a few broken pots. Hot shirts? Hot shirts. Use the professor! No! It's so rude. Let's see, what else is in here? Yeah, look at the desk. How about these shelves? Here's a thuggy idol. If you know, you know. Um, icebox. Phew. Guess I should have cleaned it out. <laughs> Dang it. Um, let's see, what do we have? I guess it's mayonnaise, but it looks like used motor oil. Oh! Well, it's an adventure game. You do what you gotta. Jar of mayonnaise. Ew. God. There's nothing useful in here. Oh, they're all in Disney Plus as well. Nice, nice. Oh, there's a shrunk up there. Let's see what that is. Use kerosene lamp on Marcus. We don't need a kerosene lamp to roast the crap out of him. Oh! <laughs> uh, look at trunk. Nothing useful in here. Dang. They let me open the trunk and everything, and there was nothing in there. I think we've seen everything there is to see in here, then. Let's see if there's anything across the street. Talk to the mayonnaise! I'm gonna try that now. Let's see if I don't. We're doing it. Talk to... It won't even let me. It won't even let me talk to the jar of mayonnaise. <laughs> Has absolutely no interest. <laughs> LTG, thank you for that. Is there anything to see on this side of the campus? Bulletin board. It says, Wanted, ride share to World's Fair. Nice. Uh... The stairway is closed for repairs. Wow, they really closed the hell out of that thing. Um... Oh, we can go back down to here. It's a greasy old towel. All right, let's pick that up. Because adventure games. Um, nothing else in any of the lockers. Uh, A fine sample of bitumen. Can we pick up some coal? We can! We got some coal, nice. I don't think there's anything else to see in here, then. But we got a couple more items, that's good, that's good. Is that our 1935 overworked? Basically, yeah! You put a push pin on a notice board, you hope somebody catches on. Anything else to see It here? says, We'll trade K&E slide rule for FADA radio. Wow, jeez! It says, Movie tonight. 
The 39 Steps. Ooh, a classic. It says, Where have you gone, Joe DiMaggio? <laughs> it says, Movie Tonight. The 39 Steps. There's some nerdy things in this game. Spicy mayo on your McDonald's McSpicy Burger. Is that an actual thing? I have never heard of this, if so. Nothing over there. All right, I think we've seen everything there is here, then. I've never heard of a McSpicy Burger. That's interesting. See, I like mayonnaise, but I don't use a lot of it. I'm one of those weirdos that likes Miracle Whip more than mayonnaise. We exist. We're real. And we have opinions. Oh, uh, let's see. Alright, I'm gonna pop back to Iceland, see if anything's going on over there. Yeah, that's a that's a weird reference to make there, Commander Keen. Right, we came here and there didn't seem to be much going on. And we can't go in the encampment, which is super weird. can't like open it right it doesn't seem to open no we can't just go in there all right let's walk to the old dig site then oh it's Australian only interesting interesting yeah the chicken sandwich they tend to overload with mayo which is kind of unfortunate all right, nothing else to do here then So, all right, let's head back to the truck then. Imagine was born in 1940. Let's head to the airport. And this takes place in 39, somewhere around there, I think. Interesting. So yeah, he would have actually been active at this point. Go we'll figure. All right, is there anything else we can do in the Azores? I don't think so. It didn't seem like there was much to do there. Yeah, Jonah, the accents in this game are not right. Like, I'll give it to the guy that did Indiana Jones. He does a very good Harrison Ford, but everybody else, super goofy. Super goofy. Like, the Germans are just very stereotypical. Everyone else, I don't even know what they're going for. <laughs> no idea. Um... No, there is absolutely nothing to see in the Azores. All right. So we gotta use what we've got here and see if we can solve the puzzle in Tikal then. Come on, let's go. I mean, they kind of nailed the British guy if they were going for what Americans think Brits sound like. I'll give them that. All right, back to Tikal. Yeah, it's true, Commander Keen, they did. Which I suppose maybe if you're doing like a, if you just happen to be doing like a pulp, sort of like 1940s era pulp, it might be appropriate to have terrible accents. But still. There's absolutely nothing else to do in the jungle. Let's go ahead and take the path back around to the temple. Dirty movie names? I don't think there's any dirty movie names in there. After ending on a literal heart-stopping cliffhanger? I might have to check that one out. Alright, nothing else to see out here either. Well, I guess let's see if there's anything else we can do with what we got there. Hold up there, friend. Well, any ideas yet? Well, I got some adventure game garbage. Let's see if we can do anything with this. Uh, use dirty rag with spiral design. I don't think that'll work. All right, we're gonna have to take extreme measures here. Use mayonnaise with spiral design. I don't think that'll work. Damn it. Uh, use dirty rag with jar of mayonnaise. 
I don't think that'll work. Damn it. Uh, yeah. Shit. <laughs> well, that's everything I had. Um. Use lump of coal with animal head? That'll just make a mess. Probably. What if I want to make a mess? Is there something wrong with it? Use whip with spiral design. I don't think that'll work. Damn it. So now, of course, we go back to the classic adventure game question of... Am I missing something? Am I missing an item or is there more I need to do here? <laughs> oh my god, Groucho Marx jokes. Classics. Uh, Alright, so look at the mayonnaise. I guess it's mayonnaise, but it looks like used motor oil. Can we use the mayonnaise with the kerosene lamp? Well, that doesn't seem to work. Not actually motor oil, good to know. Let me try talking to the spiral design. It won't let me. It actually won't let you talk to anything that you can't talk to in the game. That's unfortunate. Damn it, Kiwi! <laughs> that won't be invented for decades. Um. Hmm. Let's see if Excuse me, Sophia. Me is. What's up? What do we do now? Let's keep looking. She says keep looking, so there might be something I'm missing. I got no idea what. Chet, you have any ideas? I'm curious. Um, hmm. Let's see, can we open the animal head? It doesn't seem to open. Can we close the animal head? It doesn't head? seem to close. I'm close? Ooh. Ed, you've got an idea? What do you got, Ed? See if there's anything by the stairs? I don't think so, because I moved my cursor all around. I don't think there's anything else to see in this room. I don't believe there is. Shane is so close and yet so far, I know the feeling. And Zohaku, welcome in. How are you doing today? Hope you are doing well. Uh, let's see. Oh, God, do we just... Oh, please. Open jar of mayonnaise. There's no lid. There's no lid. All right. All right, so there is no lid on the jar of mayonnaise, so it's just always open. We just have a jar of rotten mayonnaise with no lid open, sloshing around in our inventory at all times. Ladies and gentlemen, Indiana Jones... Just an absolute trash lord. <laughs> Hello ladies, my name's Indiana Jones, and uh, I hope you like my outfit. Also, that smell is rotten mayonnaise. Yes, soak it in, ladies. <laughs> I guess we could try opening the lamp, but let's try, let's try that. <laughs> No, it doesn't work. Open kerosene. Open, open kerosene lamp. Alright, so it's open now. So now can we use jar of mayonnaise with open kerosene lamp? Well, that doesn't seem to work. Nope. Komatori! Welcome in, Komatori. How are you doing? How was your stream? What were you playing? Tell me everything. Hope you are doing well today. Yeah, so you can open the kerosene lamp. Can, oh, can we, now that it's open, can we use kerosene lamp with the spiral? Look, the kerosene ate away the tarnish. There we go. Remarkable. So that was the trick. We didn't have to open the mayonnaise. We had to open the lamp. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> That's true, Commander Keen. I think you might be right there. <laughs> we were so close. I didn't even think of opening the lamp. That was my bad. <laughs> Sun dried mayo! Oh god. This one looks different, more deeply etched. Alright, uh, it said it wore away the tarnish, but it doesn't look any different now. 
This one looks different, more deeply etched. Engraved symbols of water and life. Now he said it wore away the tarnish. But it didn't change anything? Oh, here, let's uh, use dirty rag with spiral design. I don't think that'll work. No. Uh, use kerosene lamp with dirty well, that rag. That doesn't seem to work. No. Let's see, it didn't open up anything else, did it? No. This one looks different, more deeply etched. I said it wore away the tarnish. I already did. Huh, weird. That's right, tarnish. I see that capital T there. <laughs> yeah, I'm eager as well, Dr. Melvin. Have you tried to whip it? We are not going to whip so here. Let's see, Shino, you've got a hint? What are you thinking, Shino? Um... Alright, can we do something with the spiral design I can't move now? it. No? He said it wore away the tarnish, so I don't know what we're doing now. Well, that doesn't seem to work. Weird. I don't see anything different on there. We don't have a gun! <laughs> when it don't use the whip on everything, use the whip with spiral design. I don't think that'll work. That won't work. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hmm. Do you need a hint? Sure, Shino, you know, what do you got? What is your hint? Yeah, we got it. We got the hint command too. So if you think you got something you want to add, you can exclamation mark hint to let folks know you got something to share. Are you using the coal? All right, use coal on spiral design. That'll just make a mess. That'll just make a mess. <laughs> <laughs> Um, can we pour the kerosene into the mayonnaise? Well, that doesn't seem to work. I don't know what that would do, but I just want that. Chain make it messes, Rex says welcome in. I'm just causing chaos at this point. Absolute chaos. Sophia, let's talk. What's up? What was the point of getting rid of the tarnish? Well, what do we do now? Let's keep looking. All right, so she doesn't say anything still. Is Sternart saying anything? There's not much more to talk nope, about. nothing to talk Carry about. Carry on, Dr. Jones. Kiranese! <laughs> Nuddle Masher, you got a hint to... Or, oh, hang on, Doc Belvin, I think you're first. What's your hint, Doc Belvin? I'm curious. What do you get? Uh, let's see. Use the whip on the expired mayo and invent miracle whip. Oh my god. <laughs> Focus on one side. There is another side over here. But over here, if I just look at it. Engraved symbols of water and life. That's all he says. Like... This one looks different, more deeply etched. Yeah, this one symbol is the only one he says anything different about. All the rest he just says the same thing. Uh, let's see. Let's see, Doc Belvin, I think you were the, or sorry, Nuddle Masher. Nuddle Masher, you were the next one with a hint. What do you got, Nuddle Masher? You used to like Miracle Whip, then Milky Way made a version, made me so ill I've never, oh God, all right, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Nuddle Masher, I think you're the next one for a hint. I'm trying to go in order here. There is one command you haven't tried. Ooh, all right. Um, let's see. Push. Spiral I can't design. move it. Whole spiral. Design. Now I got it. Whole spiral design. Mom. That was it. All right, that was it. I had to pull it off. Look at. It's a stone design. carving. All right, so I just pulled it, I just pulled it off the wall. I was thinking it was a button or something. That was my bad. <laughs> Dang it! 
Thank you, Double Masher. I appreciate that. All right. So that might be something we could trade to the professor. Possibly to get more information. Um. Excuse me, Sophia. Yeah, I didn't expect that either. What the hell? What's up? What do we do now? Let's keep looking. Uh, let's see. So if I look at the spiral, it's design, a stone carving. Doesn't really say anything. Uh, does Sternhardt say anything Listen. else? There's not much more to talk about. No. Carry on, Dr. Jones. Alright, so why did we just rip that off the wall? <laughs> Is the next question. I guess we can try showing that to the other guy, possibly. Maybe that's all we need. Wait for me, old bean. Alright, so... Yeah, let's show it to the other guy, see what he's got to say. Game was trying to give me hints there. I'm not terribly observant, it's true. Let's find the airport. Way back when I tried push, I thought, no, try pull. I was so convinced in my own head that that must have been some sort of button or relief, I didn't even think about trying to pull it. Preconceptions, they'll get you every time. And he's gonna get a lot of bonus flight points. Oh man, it's gonna be so good. Hopefully he got that gold card, that's important. Vandalism! Indy is in fact a terrible archaeologist because he just sort of steals things. It's it's awful. Get your coat! You're what you pulled? Oh no. <laughs> Alright, so let's switch to so for. Alright, no, he says he'll do business with anybody, so we should be able to just do this. Mr. Costa? You again? What do you want? Uh, let's talk about a trade. Let's talk about a trade. Okay. What you got? Um... Oh, I can't offer it! I'm offering this rare archaeology magazine, or I'm offering this genuine American maple whip. I'm offering this genuine American-made bullwhip. Not a chance. What good is a whip in this day and age? Got anything else? I'm offering this rare archaeology magazine. That magazine rejects all my articles. You keep it. Come back when you've got something worth my while. Alright, so the, the serpent thing isn't good enough. Don't say anything. Alright, we're gonna have to see if we can do anything else with it. There might be more we can do with it in that temple there. Come on, let's go! <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure Indy just expenses everything to the university and lets them figure it out. I kinda got that vibe from the movies as well. Alright. So maybe there's more to do with this then. Let's see. Hold up there, friend. Yeah, I know. Come along. What good is a whip in the stage? Well, got a few ideas. Well, any ideas yet? All right, can we use the spiral design with the animal head somehow? It fits perfectly. Uh -huh. Now it looks kind of like an elephant. Oh. Huh. Yeah, I can see it. Amazing. All right. Now pull the elephant's nose. Look at that! Astonishing! Ooh! Bless my soul, the tomb of an Atlantean king! Here's a small stone disc with images of land and sea engraved on it. I do believe it's a world stone! At last I have the thing! Goodbye, fellow seekers! Wait! Oh no, he got away! Well, of course he got away. We made absolutely no attempt to stop him. <laughs> oh, Shino, thank you for the clip. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, he just bolted. 
There's a secret door back there, we'll check that out. But there's a shiny bead here, first of all. Looks like a bead of orichalcum. Ooh. Don't mind if I do, then. Pick up... Shiny bead. Too bad for Sternhart. He missed the orichalcum bead. Alright, uh... Who knows, maybe it is the tomb of an Atlantean king. Couldn't say. Alright, nothing else to see in there. Let's check out the secret door in the back. It's almost invisible. Uh, can we open the secret door? It won't budge. Can we push the secret door? It won't budge. No. Alright, well maybe the Orichalcum bead will get us a trade with that other guy. Hisanka, welcome in! How are you doing today, Hisanka? How's your weekend going? <laughs> Hope all is well. I mean, as far as we know, this is a legitimate Atlantean artifact, so this could be exactly what that guy is looking for. Let's find the airport. Alright, back to the Azores then. <laughs> Orc weapons. Clearly you need that to make an ultimate weapon down the road. We gotta wait until the crafting system shows up, of course. <laughs> he just walked right by us. <laughs> At least he didn't pull a gun on us, that's a good thing though. Kiss, thank you for the definition there, I appreciate that. Alright, so I'm gonna make another save before we talk to him. Save... He's yours. There we go. Mr. Costa? Yeah, so he got used what up by the want? necklace. The necklace basically burned it as fuel to do that weird ghostly thing it did. So yeah, she had a bead, but it's gone now, unfortunately. Let's talk about a trade. Okay, what you got? I'm offering this ancient coppery bead. Bead, you say? A mere bead for the unique knowledge I possess? You'll have to do better than that. Come back when you've got something worth my while. But... Don't start with me. But it's Ori Calcum! Um... Okay, can we give the Ori Calcum to... We can't give the Ori Calcum to Sophia, alright. Literally meaning a mountain copper. Interesting. Yeah, it, it is a metal, but her necklace is some sort of weird Atlantean device. So we don't fully understand it there. Um. Well, shoot. Use dirty rag with orichalcum? I don't think that'll work. I think if we clean it up somehow. Use kerosene lamp with orichalcum? That doesn't seem to work. No. Right, so he doesn't believe the bead is anything interesting. So how do we convince him? Excuse me. Yes? Uh, let's see. Here, talk to him again. Okay. Let's see, if, let's give her another shot. Oh, or Calcum is what's in the ZPMs? Interesting. Mr. Costa! Why, hello! I have no idea what his accent's supposed to be. We need your help. I've given you all the help I can unless you have something to trade. Don't be a stranger now. Interesting character. So he likes you, so what? <laughs> See if there's anything else you can do with him. Mr. Costa! Why, hello! Level 26 to 34, we're jumping ahead here. I like it. Um, hello again, Professor. I've given you all the help I can unless you have something to trade. No. Don't be a stranger now. He's gonna go back in, that's unfortunate. What a charming old man. I don't want to hear about it. Uh, 
let's switch back to Indeed. Excuse me. Yes. I think you better take over. Okay, I'll think of something. <laughs> uh, all right, let's let's try talking to him again. See if we can sell him, Mr. Costa. You again? What do you want? Let's talk about a trade. You don't have anything worth trading for. Don't start with me. Dang it! Oh, uh, maybe we can show the bead to the guy in Iceland? That could be a thing. Come on, let's go! That guy seemed like he knew... Well, he seemed to think everything was aliens, but... I don't know, maybe we could do something with that. Alright. Up to the old dig site, then. Oh! Oh god, he's frozen! What the hell? I'm no. Too bad, he's frozen solid. A little too dedicated hell? to his work, I guess. Jeez, dude! It looks like a bead would fit in the eel's mouth. He's just chilling. <laughs> The guy needs to chill out. What the heck? Um, alright, can we use or calcum bead in exposed eel head? It fits perfectly. Whoa. Wow. Look, it melted itself right out of the ice. Alright. It's a bronze coil. Alright, let's take it with us. It's a bronze coil. Alright, that could be what we need then. I guess we're just gonna leave him there. <laughs> Stay frosty, I know. He was a cool guy. <laughs> he should have worn more layers. How the hell did he just freeze? Yeah, he was alive earlier. Last time we came here, he was alive and he just froze to death in between the scenes. What the hell? Let's head for the airport. <laughs> hey, I'm usually pretty decent at puzzles, I'd like to think. Kind of brass, but looks strongly as gold. I can't imagine, like, Oricalcum's an actual thing. I mean, Plato did, like, seem to make up a bunch of stuff, like Atlantis. Although for Atlantis, I think Plato made it pretty clear that he was hearing about it secondhand, at least. Yeah, wow, that guy's dead. Oh well, moving on. <laughs> Basically what we're doing right there. Uh, Alright, let's save again. Uh, Nizors. There we go. Yeah, he's dead. What does he care? <laughs> Mr. Costa? You again? What do you want? Let's talk about a trade. Okay. What you got? Hoffman, I'm offering welcome this in. mysterious eel figurine. Now that looks interesting. You've got a deal, mister. Now listen carefully, I don't know exactly where to find it, but... The Lost Dialogue of Plato is in the Pierce Collection, got that? I think so, the Pierce Collection. Very good, nice doing business with you. The Pierce Collection? You know something, Sophia? I believe Barnett College owns the Pierce Collection. Ooh. Well, that'd be handy. A research laboratory somewhere in Germany. Dr. Oberman. Fantastic news. Kerner, at last! See what Herr Jones has kindly provided. What on earth? Isn't it amazing? You fool! You come back to show me this, this, this... Prehistoric knick-knack? Herr Doctor, I believe this knick-knack, as you call it, comes from the lost city. The 
and we have failed. I see no evidence here of some magical metal plate or cold or a calcum. Look here. Concealed in the base is a small shiny bead. And it glitters like fire, exactly as Plato described. It's my guess we found the treasure we seek. I'll never guess. We must test. My God. Energy of uranium without any radioactivity! And those smug American scientists know nothing! That gives me an idea. Suppose I place the bead inside the statue's open mouth. <laughs> You saw that? Think of trucks powered by these beads. Think of tanks. Think of airplanes. Use your imagination, Carter. Think big like the American. Think of bombs. Well then. So why are you dragging me in here? Plato's lost dialogue should be here somewhere. Need some help? Uh, let's see. <laughs> uh. Yes, please, it's scary in here. Save the sarcasm, Jones. <laughs> I'll meet you in your office. I tried! <laughs> Let me caught up on channel a bit. He does sound like Krang from the old cartoon. Shredder, where is my body? <laughs> yeah, I have no idea what the actor's doing. I think he's like... He's not trying to imitate a German accent. He's trying to imitate people trying to imitate a German accent. It's like when you photocopy something too many times and it just starts getting blurry. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> that was very loud, sorry about that. <laughs> yes, airplanes, yes. <laughs> oh, let's see, all right. I noticed the stairs are open. They weren't before, so let's see if we can head up there. Alright, so... Oh, we got the rope here now. Can we climb up? Alright, so let's try climbing up first. See if we can get up there since we destroyed everything in here. The fine example of braided hemp. <laughs> Multiplicity! Oh my god, I haven't thought about that movie in about a million years. Alright, so I can climb that rope. Good, good. Hopefully we can get through this area without so much head trauma this time. It's a hole leading to the attic. Uh, Alright, where are we supposed to go? Can we... I can't reach it. Let's see, can we, can we push something? Push, big crit. There we go. Push, big crit. I just pushed it back, dang it. Oh, there's a dusty old chest behind it. I believe it's part of the old ward collection. Not what we're looking for, but can we open it? It's locked. Dang it. Alright, um... Let's push it again. Looks like beadwork from the Phoenix Collection. 
that's not what we're looking for. Marcus thought Potlatch Indians carved this. Looks the like fool. a movie prop to me. Arrowhead over here. It's from the Shamit collection. Very sharp. Ooh. Well, that sounds adventure gamey. Let's take it. Alright. Looks like textiles from the Shamit collection. Alright, so we got something sharp and pokey. That's a good thing. Up the rope? I can't pick that up. We can't apparently. Um, can we pull? Totem pole. The floor isn't slippery enough. It won't move. Uh, can we use jar of mayonnaise with totem pole? <laughs> <laughs> Number one, that is incredible adventure game logic. And number two, Indiana Jones is such a shit archaeologist that he just dumped expired mayonnaise on a totem pole. I mean, he does believe it's fake at least, I'll give him that, but still. Come on, Indy. For fuck's sake. There we go. Uh, let's see. Totem pole. There we go. Oh yeah, rope reminds him of steak steaks. You won't touch it. <laughs> Alright. So we've gotten up here. Let's see what we can see. Um, we already looked at everything up here. Let's see what we can see. Marcus still thinks this chest belonged to Columbus. We already looked at all that. It's a copy of an Egyptian statue of Horus. It's a medieval gargoyle, or a good imitation. It's some kind of funeral urn. The game made me work to get back up here. I believe it's part of the old Ward collection. Alright, can we open it? Let's see, look at... Looks like someone's ashes in here. Alright. Can we pick up the urn? Feels like there's something loose in here. A key? A key? Dusty key. Maybe we can use that on that box in the lower floor. I have to be more careful around these things. Yes, Indy. Less head trauma, please. Oh, the whip reminds him of an earthworm. Well, that's better, at least. Push this out of the way, then use Dusty Key with Dusty Old Chest. The chest is empty. Dang it! The chest is empty. I thought we were onto something. All right. Um. See, can we do open this chest? I can't lift the lid. Why not? Uh, all right, let's keep looking then. It's a stone carving of Shiva. Uh, hmm. Poor Marcus. He thought this was a Maasai warrior. Um, can we? Pick up the candlestick? Must be made out of lead. There. We can, but he didn't he doesn't want to key hang on to it though. <clears throat> I think it's fine right where it is. <laughs> Alright, so we moved it for some reason, but now we won't pick it up again. Uh can we open the chest now? There we go. It's full of air. <sighs> Nothing in there. That's fine. Fine. Uh, all right. What, what else are we doing here? It's a crude copy of a Persian idol. All right. So I don't think there's anything to see up here. 
Because fire is the devil's only friend. We got chipated! Oh, game, why you gotta do me like that? There's nothing in this chest? The chest is empty. Damn it. That's just pot shirts over there. Um, can you look at the gaping hole? Looks dangerous. Yeah, you'd think somebody could get some severe head trauma that way. Alright, I don't think there's anything else to see in here. Despite the fact there's tons of stuff we can do in here. Uh, no, look at... No, I can't even look at those shelves over there. Looks like textiles from the Shamut collection. Alright, let's head downstairs then. So many empty chests, what the heck? I hope it's not a vacuum that it suck. Yeah. Sulfur, welcome in, how are you doing today? Hope you're doing good. Look at tipped over bookcase. I believe it's part of the old Pierce collection. Wait, isn't that what we're looking for, the Pierce collection? Push, tipped over bookcase. Oh, wait, that was screw. I can't move it. There's screws on there. Can we use the arrowhead with the screws? Ouch! The screw came out, but that hurt. Oh, suck it up, Indy. Use arrowhead with screws. I can't unless I find a way to protect my hands. Uh, use dirty rag with arrowhead. There we go. Wrapped arrowhead. It's unscrewed. There we go. We have made a screwdriver. It's unscrewed. Beautiful. All right. One or two more left. It's unscrewed. One more. It's unscrewed. All right. Um, open to door bookcase. Here it is. The lost dialogue of Plato. Literally fell on our head earlier. <laughs> Raven Sword, welcome in. How are you doing today? Hope you're doing well. Ooh, Ark! Sounds nice. Well, I hope I can help you unwind, Sulfur. Glad to have you here. This museum has no screwdrivers. Clearly, Indy must use an arrowhead wrapped in cloth. Indy seems to want to solve all of his problems in the most destructive way possible. So he's like, I could go get a screwdriver, or I could use this arrowhead and destroy both the arrowhead and the screws. Brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah, he just threw the screws away, I guess. The Hermocrates. Now at last I have Plato's lost dialogue translated entirely. The Greek original is lost, so I've used the Arabic text I found in an Italian monastery years ago and always thought was a hoax. Now I wonder, could this remarkable book hold the secret to long-lost Atlantis? Probably not. No one will publish it, that's certain. The fear of ridicule is too great. To be safe, I've sent a copy to Pierce. Charles Sternhart, London, 1922. In shame I hereby do recant the time and place whereof, whereof uh, Critias spoke. In rendering Egyptian into Greek, he made a tenfold error. Instead of lying 3,000 miles hence, Atlantis may well have been 30,000 miles away. Or perhaps it was less than 300 miles from our own shores. Likewise, it may be that the Lost Kingdom held sway as many as 100,000 years ago, or as few as 1,000. Socrates, if a kingdom arose on Earth beyond anywhere men might travel, then we might never hear of it. We ought to accept the lesser figure. Alright, interesting. Oops. Um, all right, what else we got here? Now, let's see. So, Glorious Atlantis founded two colonies, the lesser 350 miles northeast of the city and the greater 460 miles away southwest. Gates of the kingdom opened only with the aid of special stones. At many outposts, a sunstone sufficed if sunset made the tail horns made the tall horns red. Interesting. At the greater colony, a moonstone was also needed, 
with Darkest Night healed by the full moon. To approach Atlantis itself, a world stone was required as well, with the moon full of beauty unrivaled lighting the city. Final entrance yielded only to contrary minds. And it is said that dwellers in Atlantis had no horses nor any need of them. Or a calcum, the metal that glittered like fire, this they had instead. They cast it into shiny beads and used them as we do minted coins, paying the statues to do their work as if by magic. When the colonies were failing, wise men carried strange devices out of amber to search for the metal, but only proud Atlantis ever yielded a supply. Socrates, we have called the kingdom wealthy, but surely this is absurd. As the waters rose around the city, the kings of Atlantis, one after another, sought to hold off fate. Knowing mortal men would never rule the sea, they planned a huge colossus, which by use of orichalcum ten beads at a time, would make them like the gods themselves. Nur Absel was one such king. Uh, he it was, say the wise men of Egypt, who first put men in the colossus, making many freaks of nature at times when the celestial spheres were aligned. This I doubt we are hearing a child's tale. So even Plato doesn't believe any of this stuff. Interesting. All right, well, we've got some information here. That's a good thing. All right, so let's save here. Uh, save. New save. Book gained. All right. So many puzzles can be solved by having a toolbox. I know, adventure games really need these things. Geek Boy people are always telling you you have a screw loose. They sell tools for that, though. <laughs> or perhaps commentary by Socrates. These are the last dialogues of Plato. I know they said Hermocrates translates to friend of, uh, friend of Socrates. I don't know. It could be Plato transcribing, and I know a lot of the things that Plato wrote were second-hand accounts, so that's very possible. Alright. Well, I think we are done here. So let's head to our office. I think Sophia said she'd wait for us over there. Yeah, a lot of the craziest things Plato wrote about was just, uh, yeah, this guy told me about this Atlantis place. It was crazy. Some guy in a hat, welcome in. How are you doing today? I got it. I found Plato's lost dialogue. Really? Our jungle friend Sternhardt is quite the scholar. Let me see. Of course, we already took a look at it. I don't see how this will help us find Atlantis. Um... Didn't you notice Plato's tenfold numbering error? So he got his dates mixed up. Why is that so important? Plato's error means distances could also be wrong. So what if they are? If Plato is right, Atlantis is in the Mediterranean. You mean 300 miles from Greece instead of 3,000? Yes, the cradle of civilization. You could be right. He once told me he came from the middle of the world. That's what Mediterranean means. Good old Nurab Sal. I'm starting to like him. Wait, quiet. I think I'm getting something. So, Mr. Sal, what's the secret? Be patient, he's lost. But I think I know how to guide him home. Among the artifacts that Kerner stole was a small stone disc with a hole in it. 
I'm sure it was one of the three stones mentioned in Plato's book. And I didn't find it. I bought it from Alain Trottier in Monte Carlo. Why should he help us? Or was it Omar Al-Jabbar in Algiers? Either way, Algiers or Monte Carlo. This much I do know. We need all three stones if we want to find Atlantis. How will I find Trottier and Al-Jabbar? Not so fast. First, I'm going to tell you a fortune. Look into my eyes. Deep into my eyes. For Pete's sake, I'm not going to hurt you. <sighs> now hold still. You are a remarkable man, Dr. Jones. You possess great strength of character. You are resourceful. You trust others and want them to trust you. The most promising path to Atlantis, therefore, is the one we both must take, together as a team. Alright, so this, this is the most important part of the entire game right here. And this is the part I promised I'd explain when we get to it. Here's what's so fascinating about this game, is the bulk of this game actually has three separate paths that you can take through it. And right here, this dialogue right here is where we decide which path we have to take. So let me explain the three paths we have here. So the first line of dialogue right here is, all right, I'm convinced you can come along. That takes you down the path of teamwork. If we go down that path, we'll use a lot of, we'll take her with us and we'll encounter a lot of puzzles that require two people to solve. Second option there is, I'd rather go into action by myself. That takes you down the path of fists, which is where you get into a lot of uses of the fist fighting minigame. This path sucks and no one likes it, because the fist fighting minigame is fucking awful. And the third option there is, I'd rather think my way through. This is called the path of wits. If you take this path, you have to fight, uh, face the largest number of puzzles in the game, and the highest difficulty of puzzles in the game. So we can only take one of these paths right here, so this is where we have a big choice to make. And this is something I planned, this is something I looked into before we played the game, and I had to decide which path we're going to take. And I see a lot of people are already saying the wits path, and I do appreciate like the idea of taking on some really challenging puzzles. But here's the thing, I think I want to do the team path. And the reason I want to take the team path is because I'm told that's where you get the best writing in the game. Because if you take the other two paths, wits or fists, you don't take Sophia with you. So Indy is just sort of talking to himself and he's talking to the player. But if you take the, the teamwork path, he's got Sophia and the two of them can play off of each other. So I really want to see that dialogue that comes with them playing off of each other, because as you see, it's hilarious when they're interacting. So I want more of that. So I think we're going to take the team path here. Let's see, Commander Keen, I think you should show off at least one fisticuffs. Oh yeah, no matter what path you take, you're very likely to get into some fisticuffs. Because on all three paths, there are places where you're very likely to get into a fist fight. So yeah, don't worry, Commander Keen. Uh, I'm probably getting into a fist fight at some point, no worries there. Yeah, the voice acting is really good too, so let's do that. Let's take the path of teamwork. Plus, that's the path that Sophia says we should take anyway. So let's do that. Alright, I'm convinced. You can come along. Then let's go, partner. Let's get going. We can still catch tonight's clipper. You make it sound so romantic. Alright! So we have finished one segment of the game and we are starting on the next. Uh, give me one moment, I will be right back. Don't go anywhere, folks.
Thanks for waiting. Commander Keen, you have a good rest. Thanks for hanging around with us. We will see you around. And Raven Sword, I see you have redeemed a posture check. This seems like an excellent time for one of those. Let's do it. Let's see. Hooter, welcome in. Let's, let's do the teamwork. We're going to do the teamwork. We gotta decide which of these locations to go first. I'm not sure it matters, because as before, we'll probably be popping back and forth between the two. So we will see. Oh, man, I had some pops in there. Oh, jeez. All right, there we go. Whew, all right. Uh, let's start with Algiers. Why? Because A is alphabetically first. Let's try that first. Please ensure the alignment of your meat prison. Mine's always drifted out of shape, I tell you. I tell you. <laughs> All right. All right, so let's make a save here, first of all. Save, new save, uh, Algiers. All right. Let's have a look around, see what we see. It says, Aerial Views, One Flight Up. Alright. Well, let's see what we got up there. What do they mean by Aerial Views, I wonder? Oh! It's a guy with a balloon, interesting. Hello there. If you have ticket, you see sights. If not, you don't. All right, well, we don't have a ticket, so I guess we're not seeing the sights. But keep in mind that he's up there. Ooh, that does sound nice, Bob. No Abdul al Razed. Oh, God, I hope not. That guy's terrifying. Virtual machine! I love it. All right. Let's see if we can talk to this beggar down here. No ticket! Oh. Hello there. Ah, a prosperous American. You ever hear of Atlantis, old man? Atlantis? Hmm, Atlantis. Hmm. No. Well, you know where to find Omar Al Jabbar? Omar is one of my best customers. His shop is on the other side of the marketplace. Oh, all right. What are you doing here on the streets? I'm a beggar, Effendi. It is my job to be here. That's Today I'm offering a discount. Give me food and I'll give you a free gift. Now, let me get back to work, please. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Walk to long, dusty pa path back to the airport. Well, that sounds appetizing. I don't want to disturb them. They look kind of busy. Alright, fair enough. Tickets, please. Uh, what else have we got here? Walk over here. Well, I guess Gumption, he seems like he's got some sass. I appreciate that. Uh, look at Knife Thrower. He's an artist with those knives. He's, he's doing his thing, definitely. Can we talk to him? Excuse me. Yes? Do you know where to find Omar al Javar? He has a shop nearby, behind the marketplace. Nice knives. Yes, they were a gift from my father, the greatest knife thrower in North Africa. I'm trying to follow his example. Well, good luck to you then. But alas, no one will volunteer to be my assistant since the accident. Sorry to bother you. The accident? No bother. I just wish a volunteer would step forward to assist me. Well, here's the thing. I don't want to die, so I'm not going to do that. They're a happy bunch. Uh, let's see what else we got around here. <laughs> location, location, location. <laughs> Beggars have consumers and even repeat ones? How does that work? I have no idea. Excuse me. Yes? I suppose he might mean that's the guy that uh, tips him the most. 
You ever hear of Atlantis? Atlantis is a myth, Effendi, like Camelot or Aladdin's lamp. Yeah, believe me, I'm with you. Do you know where to find Omar al-Jabbar? Omar, his pitiful excuse for a shop is down the alley here. <laughs> I don't want to die. Sophia, you do it. I was considering that, actually. <laughs> Raven Sword, you would trust the NPC to throw knives at me? Oh, God. What looks good today? Today we have a special squab on a stick, only 20 dinars. You accept U.S. currency? Sorry, no. Oh. Well, a squab would sure hit the spot. 20 dinars, if any. Maybe we can make a deal. What kind of deal? Um... I'll give you my fine leather jacket for a squab. In this heat, don't be absurd. <laughs> we worth a shot. Don't go away. I'll get back to you. All right, we'll see what we can do. Uh, let's see. I do want that squab, though. Uh, all right, let's just check out the city streets over here first. We'd better not go out there. We'll just get lost. Fair enough. <laughs> no, he poured all of the mayo on the floor to get the uh, totem pole moving, unfortunately. So no, our rotten mayo is now rotting in the attic of uh, the college. Indy is just a force of chaos. <laughs> uh, Alright, so let's head to the back alley then. Oh, this looks shady as hell. Pots. Pots. Uh, what else we got around here? It all looks pretty worthless. Unless you're in the market for pots, I suppose. Big pots. Big pots! It says, drink Elliot's rosewater in Arabic. Weird? Um... Little pots. <laughs> so he's got all kinds of pots. Gotcha, gotcha. Excuse me. What can I do for you, Appendy? Yep, dumped out an entire jar of expired mayo just so we could use it as lubricant to push a totem pole across the floor. <laughs> Archman! He is kind of a big dude, I suppose. It's true. <laughs> Also, large pots. Large man, large pots. I notice a theme. Are you Mr. Omar Al-Jabbar? I am but a humble shopkeeper. My name is unimportant. Oh, he's, he's gonna play games with us then. Good, 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 good. Do you ever deal in antiquities from Atlantis? Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Many a fool dreams of the Lost Kingdom. How may I know your intentions are serious? Um, I've got a PhD, will that do? <laughs> you have quite a sense of humor, I see. Uh, Sophia? Excuse me. What is it? You think this guy is Al Jabbar? There's only one way to find out. He wants to be sure we're serious. Maybe we better get one and show it to him. Get one what? Of all the shops in Algeria, we had to walk into this one. We'll always have Iceland, Indy. God damn it, you two! <laughs> Hot enough for you? It'll get a lot hotter if the Nazis beat us to Atlantis. You friggin' nerds. Let me think. Okay. Alright, so we can't switch characters right here. Ooh, hello. Funny, looks like that ghost we saw in your study. That ghost was Nurab Sal. Uh, can we pick up the mask? I can! i just take it. This thing is spooky. Alright, so we got a spooky mask. Ooh, cool. I don't know why he just let me took it, take it there, but that's fine. Right, 
see anything else here. Alleyway full of clay pots and you can't even smash any of them? Is this even a video game? I know, I'm sweating over here. <laughs> Go visit your frozen dead buddy! He's chilling. Had to take any hints? We had to take a couple hints. But I've been more or less on the right track for most of the time. More or less. <laughs> Wait one minute. So you think you can just troll out of here without paying? Oh. He did notice. Well, how much does it cost? That mask? On second thought, you can have it. It's been scaring away all my best customers. Oh. Well, then yes, I do think I can just walk out without paying. Because you have now told me that I can do that. <laughs> All right, then. All right, so well, we've seen everything available here. So let's check out the other location, then. See if there's anything interesting going on over there. I have a feeling we're going to have to trade some things here. But we'll see. But for right now, Monte Carlo. Looks classy. Well, here we are. But what does Trottier look like? How should I know? I've never actually met him. We did all our business by mail. What makes you think we'll find Trottier here? All his letters mention how much he likes strolling under the bright lights. I had no idea Monte Carlo was the lost city. Don't start with me, Indy. It's Trottier we're after. Suppose Trottier shows up. What then? Bring him up to my room. This plan sounds kind of harebrained to me. Don't worry, it'll work. He used to have one of the three stones. If we can coax him into a seance, he might let us have it. A seance? I'll go get ready. Alright. We have a plan, apparently. Shane's natural habit is a high rolling gambler. I'm very risk averse, so I hate gambling. Uh, let's see. It's open. Well, let's see if we can head in whatever this place the is. The door is closed. What? Open it. There we go. There we go. Is that you, Jones? Where's Trottier? Um... I have no idea where he is. Well then, get back out there. Alright, jeez, sorry. Let me look around here first, though. There must be a sheet under here. Can we pick up the bedspread? Aha! We got bed sheets. It's a bed sheet. I have an idea. Can we use. I better wait until it's dark. Ah, gotcha. I think we need to combine the mask and the bed sheets to make a ghost later on, which is gonna be amazing. <laughs> uh, what else we got around here? It's a fuse box. Uh, can we open fuse box? It's the main power switch for the room. Uh, can we... Oh, sorry, right here. Alright, cool. We can turn off the lights in here, which we'll probably need for the seance. Here, can we do this now? Can we pull circuit breaker? Use. Mask. I think I should try something else first. All right, no, not that yet. All right, so push. I can't move it. Oh, no. Push. There we go. All right. That'll work, but not now. It'll be something we do later. 
<laughs> He's just flicking the switches on and off, and Sophia's like, What the hell is wrong with this guy? What is he doing? Right, can we walk the city streets? Nothing interesting over here. No, apparently not. Can we just start asking people? Can we start talking to randos? Excuse me. Are you Alan Trottier? No, I'm not. Just a moment, please. Are you Alan Trottier? Oh, perhaps. Who's asking? Um... I'm Dr. Indiana Jones of Barnett College. Jones, Jones, Jones. I believe I've heard of you. Yes, of course, the famous archaeologist. Alright. That's me. And I am Trottier. Amateur scholar, part-time poet, professional dreamer. Adding up today's date and my birthday foretold extraordinary events on the boulevard tonight. And here I bump into you. Ah, what good fortune. I'd just like to take a moment to point out we needed to find a guy that we didn't know what he looked like. So we went to Monte Carlo and just started asking random people on the street of Monte Carlo whether they were the right person. And we found him on the second try. It's a good thing he's in Monte Carlo, because then he needs to be playing some, uh, gamb doing some gambling right now with that kind of luck. Holy crap! Um... <laughs> yeah, seriously. Madam Sophia's in town and wants to meet you. Really? The great psychic? Oh, no wonder I felt restless tonight. Still, one must be cautious. I fear that German agents are on my trail. To prove you are not one of them, answer me this. Of what material did the Atlantean carve devices to search for Oricalcum? Um... Amber? Amber. Yes, excellent. Obviously, you know Plato's lost dialogue well. How can I help you? I actually remember that from the book. Excellent. Isn't that how anyone finds anyone in Europe? It does work for James Bond! Like, whenever he wants to find anyone in the entirety of Europe, he just kind of wanders around until he bumps into him. That guy's ridiculous. <laughs> uh, let's see. Follow me and Madame Sophia will read your fortune. Oh, this is a big step. I'm not sure. Oh, we gotta sell him on it. Um... Come on, take a chance. She's right here in the hotel. I don't need this woman's counsel. I don't need anything, but I'm curious. So, I'll do it. Please, yep. lead the way. Boom. Relentlessly welcome in as a European. I can confirm that's how we find each other around here. Well, I can't I your body, eh? <laughs> Is he here? All right. Are you sure this is gonna work? Just you watch. Oh, Monsieur Trottier, I am so pleased to meet such an expert antiquarian at long last. Madame flatters me. It is I who am pleased to meet you. Now then. All right, um... Nurab Sal demands proof of your sincere belief. Well, I have this stone key from the Lost City. It should prove my worth to Monsieur Sal. Very good, very good indeed. Now let's begin our communion with that great spirit. Uh, one moment, madame. We've never met before. You could be an imposter. If you really have psychic powers, tell me. 
Why was I taking a stroll when I first met Dr. Jones? How should I know? Read my mind, or read Dr. Jones' minds if you prefer. I told him everything. Hmm, let me think. Um... Let's see, it was his horoscope, I think? Oh, it wasn't numerology. I'm trying to remember, that's the tricky one. <laughs> You're from Europe, do you know Dave? <laughs> Red does, in fact, know Dave. The sheep does as well know Dave. I guess everybody knows Dave, that's easy enough. Who doesn't know Dave? <laughs> Alright, can we save right here? Is that a thing? Uh, we can! Uh, so let's save here and we'll call it... Seance. Uh, numerology. Your numerology told you to. Aha, uh -huh. that is intriguing. What is my greatest fear? Um... You fear Nazi agents. Well, well, well. Fascinating. What is my greatest need? Um... You need nothing. Ah, most interesting. Now then, how many fingers am I holding up behind my back? Oh, come on! What kind of stupid question is that? The answer depends on pure chance. Not if you're truly psychic. Don't worry, I won't cheat. How many fingers? Well, all I can do is try a wild guess. Um, what do you think, Chet? How many fingers? How many fingers? You, if there's anybody in Chet with psychic powers, I need you to read this guy's mind and tell me how many fingers he's holding up. Some guy in a hat says, when in doubt, three. Let's go for three. Three. Amazing! Whoa. You must have truly read my mind. Now, what words of wisdom can you offer to guide me? Some guy in a hat, you are in fact psychic. As well as anybody else that guessed three. Bob guessed three, Will guessed three. <laughs> You're all psychic, it turns out. Congratulations. <laughs> um, let's see. So we gotta find a way to phrase this that sounds wise. Um, I think it's either the first option or the third option that I like here. Number two seems a little bit too on the nose. I'm a little worried that number three might be a little bit too vague. Let's try number one. The path to Atlantis is too dangerous for you. Oh, I was worried that it might be so. Please, take my stone key as a reward for your profound advice. Au revoir. Nice work, Sophia. Now I'm taking control of this team. Looks like we have one of the three stones. Let's hope we can find a way to use it. I'll bet Trottier got it from Al Jabbar. Those two do a lot of business together. Let's head for North Africa and find out if I'm right. Fine. I'll hail a cab while you get changed. I'm willing to bet there's an alternate solution to that puzzle where you use the mask and the bed sheets and scare the shit out of him. That would be amazing. But unfortunately, I mean, fortunately, we were able to solve all the questions right with Sophia, so that's pretty awesome. Vino, welcome in for his try. The way to solve the puzzle is to reload to- Wait, is there seriously only one right answer on the fingers? I thought it was like a joke and it would just give it to you at whatever you guessed. You're like, oh yeah, that's the right one. Seriously? There's only one right answer there? That's horrific. <laughs> oh my god, I like that though. That, that went well. That went well. It's a stone disc with solar images carved into it. 
All right, so there's three stones, the Sun Stone, the Moon Stone, and the World Stone. We saw the World Stone, but that guy in uh, Tikal stole it. We've got the Sun Stone now. Hopefully we can find the Moon Stone in uh, uh, the other location. I think we're done here, though. I'd better put the sheet back. I guess. Come on, Indy. You'll steal ancient artifacts and you won't steal bedding from a hotel? What the hell, Indy? Come on! Come on! Wait for me! Bring him, Indy. What is with this guy? All right. So, let me go ahead and save again. Save, we'll call this one Sunstone Get. All right. Ethics, I mean, he's, oh God. He has a very strange ethical system then. I don't get it. I missed it, do it again. Watch the VOD. All right, all right. So maybe we can show the sunstone to that guy to prove that we're serious. That might be a thing. Let's see what we get. All right, so let's talk to him again. Excuse me again. Yes? I'm really interested in Atlantis. And I really need some reason to take you seriously. I've got this stone. Stone, you say? Let's see it. I'm not sure I should trust you. Let me know when you make up your mind. Damn it. Well, we're saved, I suppose. Excuse me again. Yes? I'm really interested in Atlantis. Uh, let's try this. And I really need some reason to take you seriously. I've got this stone. Stone, you say? Let's see it. Here it is. Take a look. Ah. It is said that three stone discs were needed to open the gates of Atlantis. This looks like one of them. A sunstone, if I'm not mistaken. Dr. Jones. How do you know who I am? Oh, no. Yeah, how? My dear Miss Hapgood, when you're Omar Al-Jabbar, you know these things. Then you are Al-Jabbar. Yes, a lowly dealer in oddities and trinkets at your service. Let's get down to business, shall we? What do you know about Atlantis? Yes, tell us. Well, somewhere deep in the Atlas Mountains, there's an archaeological dig site. I'm convinced it contains the remains of an Atlantean outpost. Whose dig is it? Europeans. Germans, I believe. Oh, no. What makes you so sure it's Atlantean? From time to time, scoundrels appear in my shop to trade pieces they stole there. The designs are unmistakable. Where is it exactly? I'm not exactly sure. I've learned enough to make a rough map, but it's very rough. The problem is, the desert is no place for a civilized man like myself. We'll go. We will? I admire your courage, but you'll never survive the desert. Give up while you still have your lives ahead of you. We'll never give up. Well then, let it be as God wills it. Come, I'll lend you my map. And a couple of sturdy camels. Oh. All right. I'll take both, thank you. It says made Atlantis on the side. That's how you know it's authentic. <laughs> it even says. A few minutes later. Uh, we 
good. A few hours later. Um. You've returned alive. Tell me, how was your trip? Okay, except our camels died a mile out of town. A terrible shame. Those were my last two camels. Perhaps I can make amends in some small way. Do you still have that mask I gave you? Uh... Yeah, I've got it right here. Why do you ask? I'd like to trade you for it. What will you give me? That depends. Do you have anything in mind? Make an offer. Well, how about... This baseball? It's been autographed by your country's Lou Gehrig. <laughs> um... Well, that doesn't appeal to me. What else have you got? How about... This voodoo doll? It was carved from trees in the Black Forest. Alex, welcome in and welcome in to all of Alex's Raiders. How are you doing today, Alex? How was your stream? What were you playing and how did it go? Tell me everything. For anybody that doesn't know me, my name is Shane. That's Shane is Games. I play the obscure, the unusual, and the nostalgic. And today we are playing Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis, one of the classic LucasArts games right here. And, uh, I, I played it as a kid, but I never beat it, so this is a big deal for me. Zed but sleep here, welcome in, hope you are doing well. And, uh, also, if we have any mods around, can I get a shout-out for Alex's playing? I would appreciate that. Cornuts, welcome in, judge away, you're free to. Any friend of Alex is a friend of mine. Shane is a good one, thank you so much, Alex, I appreciate that. For anybody in here that isn't following Alex, you should. He is the boss penguin himself. Plays anything and everything, including a lot of multiplayer games, including a ton of Dead by Daylight, which is an awesome game and he is awesome at it. You'll learn a lot of things. You'll enjoy hanging out over there and just have a great time with this community. So make sure if you haven't already, click that link, give him a follow, check him out next time he's live. You're gonna have a blast over there, I promise you. Trinetta, welcome in. Speaking of... Alex's awesome community. How are you doing today, Trinetta? Hope you are doing good. Can we get a shout out for Trinetta LaRue as well? Shane, you are a master plugger. Is that is that a double entendre? Thank you. <laughs> I prefer the term pitch man myself. <laughs> and if anybody in here is not following Trinetta LaRue, you should. Do you like RPGs? If you're in this channel, I'm sure you like RPGs. Come on, don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. Why would you lie to my face right here? Lie to this face? Please, why would you do that? You love RPGs, and that's why you want to follow Trinetta, because that's what she plays. She plays RPGs. She's trying to play and 100% the entire main series of Final Fantasy. That's crazy. You think, that's crazy. Nobody can do that. Well, she's going to try. And if you want to see her try, you're going to have to click that link and give her a follow and check her out next time she's live. So do that. You got time right now. What else are you doing? Don't pretend. Don't click that link and give her a follow. You're going to have a blast over there. I'll probably see you there too. <laughs> He is not awesome at DVD, we just like to watch him die a lot. <laughs> I mean, if you're playing DVD, you're gonna be dying a lot. No way around that one. Oh my goodness. Uh, let's I, I don't like the, the voodoo doll. What else has he got? No thanks. Can I see something else? How about... This little red wagon? It once belonged to Rudyard Kipling. So right now, we are trying to trade with a uh, uh, this market guy, and I'm not entirely sure what we're supposed to get here, but we're, we're working on it. Well, that doesn't appeal to me. What else have you got? How about this yellow yo-yo? It was hand-painted by an Arabian princess. Oh, sure, sure. All of this sounds like incredible bullshit. That's not quite what I want. What else have you got? How about... This beautiful white cane, it was once touched by Queen Victoria. This is all garbage that you're just making up tall tales about. 
That's not quite what I want. What else have you got? How about these charming shaded spectacles? With these, a man can stare straight at the sun. Sunglasses? That's a little bit better, but I don't know. No thanks. Can I see something else? How about this handsome red fez? No gentleman should be seen without one. Ooh, tempting, but I think Indy might actually die if he had to wear that. That sounds pretty awful. <laughs> you got anything else? How about this antique brass spittoon? With it, a man may spit like a camel in the privacy of his own home. <laughs> Ooh, you know, it's tempting. It's tempting, but... That's not quite what I want. What else have you got? How about... This lovely bar of soap? It's 99 and 94 one hundredths percent pure. That's very pure, but also... I don't think that's it. What else can you show me? How about... This decorative black veil? It goes with anything. Indy would look very good in decorative black veil, but... Well, that doesn't appeal to me. What else have you got? How about this dark red lipstick? It's chic yet dignified. You know, Indy has been looking for a new shade, but... That sounds pretty awful. Have you got anything else? How about this yellow scarf? It's a bit dowdy, but comfortable. Nah, I don't think it really fits the outfit. Well, that doesn't appeal to me. What else have you got? How about... These charming ivory earrings? They were carved from the tusks of a prehistoric mammoth. Ah, uh, sorry, I'm fair trade only. No thanks. Can I see something else? How about... This wondrous ebony comb? It was last owned by Matahari herself. Used comb, no thanks. No thanks. Can I see something else? How about this enchanting ruby ring? They say it has the power to cloud men's minds. Is that the the shadow's ring? Or no, the shadow just innately had that. I was thinking of the ring of the phantom, I think. That's not quite what I want. What else have you got? How about this priceless gold buckle? It was a gift to Queen Cleopatra. Uh, now we're back to accessorizing. That sounds pretty awful. Have you got anything else? How about this baseball? It's been autographed by your country's Lou Gehrig. Damn it, we looped around. Ugh. I'll just keep what I've got. As you wish, sir. Well, he's got a lot of stuff he can sell us, though. I'm not sure if any of it's what we want. Uh, all right. All right. That's an old ivory soap slogan? Seriously? I don't think I've ever heard of that one before. Or if I have, I've forgotten about it. Fezzes are cool. Someone very reliable told me that. <laughs> All right. Push, pull? We're not going to push him, though. That'd be rude. 99.44% pure? That's wild. That's a very specific number. Uh, let's talk to this grocer again. Excuse me. Yes? I'd like to make another squab offer. I'm listening. We're not gonna give him the sunstone. I'll give you this scary mask for a squab. No thanks, it would scare away my best customers. Hold a squad. I'll be back later. Uh, we have to find something Certainly to trade him. Oh god, we have to find something to trade him then. Um, alright, let's... Let's F5 again and we're gonna save... Over Sunstone Get, I think. Excuse me again. Yes? I'd like to trade my mask for something else. Hmm. Do you have anything in mind? Make an offer. Oh, well, God. how about... 
this baseball, it's been autographed by your country's Lou Gehrig. Oh, uh, God, what do we take from him, then? That sounds pretty awful. Have you got anything else? How about this voodoo doll? What, what it was a cut squaw from trees merchant the black was! I don't know! That's not quite what I want. What else have you got? I think this is what we have to do, but I'm not sure what How to about get. this little red wagon? It <laughs> once belonged to Rudyard Kipling. Uh, maybe he's a Rudyard Kipling fan? I don't know. No thanks. Can I see something else? Damn it. How At least I know what we're looking for now. This yellow yo-yo, so it was hand-painted by an Arabian princess. God. Well, that doesn't appeal to me. What else have you got? How about this beautiful white cane? It was once touched by Queen Victoria. I mean, we could probably get the fez. Maybe he'd like a nice fez. That sounds pretty awful. No dignified gentleman would be without one. How about... These charming shaded spectacles? With these, a man can stare straight at the sun. <laughs> um, I'll take them. I'll take them. You've made a good exchange, Effendi. These aren't sunglasses. They've just been painted black. Son of a bitch! No, you, you get back here. Excuse me again. Yes? Can I trade my spectacles for something else? Do you have anything in mind? He conned me! Make an offer. Well, how about... This handsome red fez? Yes. No gentleman should be seen without one. Yes, please. I'll take it. You've made a good exchange, Effendi. This isn't a real fez, it's just a paper hat. Oh, son of a bitch! Ugh. Excuse me again. Yes? Can I trade my fez for something else? I'm starting to sense there may be a trade. Do you have anything in mind? Make an offer. Well, how about... This antique brass spittoon? With it a man may spit like a camel in the privacy of his own home. Uh, sure. I'll take it. You've made a good exchange, Effendi. I don't think I have. Ugh, this thing's been used recently. <laughs> oh, God. Sophia! Sophia, help. Sophia. We can talk later. Let's do something. Uh. Excuse me again. Yes? Can I trade my spittoon for something else? It's just offering me random garbage. Do you have anything in <laughs> mind? Make an offer. Well, how about... This lovely bar of soap? It's 99 and 94 one hundredths percent pure. Sure. I'll take I'll it. take it. You've made a good exchange, Effendi. Phew, this soap smells like garlic. Ugh. Excuse me again. I'm yes. just gonna see what all this garbage is now, yes. Can I trade my soap for something else? Do you have anything in mind? Make an offer. Well, how about... This decorative black veil? It goes with anything. Yeah, that last bit is just garlic. Well, that doesn't appeal to me. What else have you got? How about... This dark red lipstick, it's chic yet dignified. Yeah, I've messed up here, you Christensen. How are you doing today? That's not quite what I want. What else have you got? How about this yellow scarf? It's a bit dowdy, but comfortable. Uh, sure. I'll take it. You've made a good exchange, Effendi. It's got moth holes. Damn it! I don't care, I'm trying to trade it. I'm gonna try and trade it. We gotta try something. Excuse me. Yes? I'd like to make another squab offer. I'm listening. 
He hasn't said what he wants. I mean, he said he wants 20 dinars, but he won't accept American currency. If you give me a squab, I'll give you my yellow scarf. Mm hmm. I'm afraid I cannot make that trade, Defendi. But it does remind me to get a gift for my mother-in-law. Damn it! Oh! It's worse than no. Hold the squab. I'll be back later. <laughs> Certainly, Effendi. <sighs> Sophia. What? Ah, Algeria. Hmm. What do we do now? Let's try to find another way to the dig site. I've got an idea. Do you have any dinars? No. You know, it's worth a shot. Never mind. Okay. Was that a hint? No, I think he was saying that what I was offering him was garbage. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Can I just get a pot, maybe? Excuse me again. Yes? Can I trade my yellow scarf for something else? <sighs> Do you have anything in mind? I guess I could Oh, here we go. I'm looking for a gift. I'm looking for a gift for an older woman. There we go. It was a hint. Anything else? Make an offer. Well, how about... This lovely bar of soap? It's 99 and 94 one hundredths percent pure. So we could try the veil or the lipstick. That might be a thing. Well, that doesn't appeal to me. What else have you got? How about this decorative black veil? It goes with anything. That could be a thing. I'll take it. You've made a good exchange, Effendi. I don't believe you. This veil itches. That's fine. Maybe he won't notice. <laughs> Come on! I just want some squab! Excuse me. Yes? I'd like to make another squab offer. I'm listening. Would you trade me a squab for this black veil? Mm hmm. This is perfect gift for my mother-in-law. And it's so color coordinated. What did I say? Here, have a squab. Yes! Thank you. We got a squab! Alright. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna save. Because that was exhausting. I got a squab. Beautiful. Squab, get! <laughs> Master V, thank you for the 22 bits. Vendors always want what you haven't got. Great trade, itchy materials. Now it's her problem. I don't know, maybe she's one of those people that likes those sweaters that itch and she won't even notice. Who knows? Squabatane! Finally. Finally. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give the squab on a stick to the beggar and see what he's gonna give me for it. Give... Squab on a stick, the beggar. Excuse me. You bring food? Here. Thank you, Effendi. Here's your free gift. What do you give me? Balloon ticket! It says one day pass, Kareem sightseeing tours. Ooh, now we're talking. Hmm, the only mark on this map is one big X. All right, well, let's see if we can use the balloon to get where we're going, then. Oh, Lord, is squabbing! I'm squabbing all over the place. <laughs> all right. Hello there. If you have ticket, you see sights. If not, you don't. But I do have ticket, good sir. Will this do? A valuable all-day pass. Today the skies are yours, Effendi. Well, I always dreamed this day would come. Come on, Sophia. Today we fly. Uh. Oh, where, where am I? What am 
I supposed to do here? Um, hello? Hey, down there. Is the view not a great beauty? Can't get enough of it. Ah, then I leave you to gaze for a few more minutes. Hydrogen filled bl balloon sounds like a bad idea. It's how they did it back in the day. But yes, it is in fact a terrible idea. <laughs> Let's see, Snuff, welcome in. How are you doing today? Um. You look at. It keeps the balloon from drifting away. Uh, let's see. Push. No. I can't move it. Oh, if I still had that arrowhead, I'd say if I could cut, I could cut the rope. Looks like you're having fun. Oh yeah, this game's a hoot. Uh, use whip with rope. That won't work. That won't work. It's a very stationary balloon ride. I think that's what I have to do, is I think I have to find some way to cut the rope. In which case, I think I have an idea. Hey, down there. Is the view not a great beauty? It's too overpowering to watch anymore. I hear and obey, Fendi. I've got an idea, and I don't like it. Come back soon. We might just do that. Oh jeez, I, I think I, I think I know what we need to do here. The <laughs> Hindenburg is left the chat. Reb, welcome in. How are you doing today? True story, they knew hydrogen was a bad idea, but had to do it anyways because the USA refused to export any of its helium. Which makes sense, because helium is really hard to come by. And in a matter of fact, we need to stop using helium in, like, kids' balloons, because we are running out of it and we don't have any good way to get more of it. Alright. Sophia. What? I think you should volunteer to help the knife thrower. No, you don't, Jones. Think about the effect on international relations. I'm thinking about the effect on my health. Come on, assist the guy, will ya? Nope, nope, nope. Do it and I'll let you wear my hat. I'll let you wear my fist if you keep this up. Ugh. The man's desperate. He needs your help. Is this your idea of a friendly nudge? Yes. Please, it's perfectly safe. You never give up, do you? Never. I just think you should learn something about the local culture. Up close. You call this cultural? I don't know. Those knives look dangerous. It's fine! Listen. What? We won't get anywhere until you volunteer. Stop trying to push me into this. <sighs> okay, don't volunteer. Never! So where's your sense of adventure? I don't know how this could ever go wrong. I'll see if I can get any to volunteer then. <laughs> we need to use hydrogen children's balloons? Oh god, no. <laughs> Who's fighting cars? I don't think hydrogen fuel cells are a great idea either. Excuse me. Yes? I'd make a wonderful assistant. It's refreshing to see such spirit, but my assistant must be a woman. Uh -huh. Show business, you know. Listen. What? What do we do now? Let's try to find another way to the dig site. I'm working on it! We won't get anywhere until you volunteer. Stop trying to push me into this. Oh. Please, it's Hang on. perfectly safe. Hang on. What's with you anyway? 
Wait a second. You gotta see this genius in action. Really? I better not get too close. Wait a second. Oof. Look here, ladies and gentlemen. A volunteer. But... Now, now, my dear. There's nothing to be afraid of. But... Just walk over to the board now. <laughs> Ta-da! Thank you for your brave assistance, my dear. Allow me to express my gratitude by giving you this souvenir knife. Here, take this knife before I use it on you. Thanks, Sophia. <laughs> You're a big help. It's a sharp bloodstained knife. Oh, God! Why is it bloodstained? Um. Alright, let's, let's try this now. <laughs> Oh, I, I see. I didn't even catch that until it had push in all caps, and then I'm like, ah. Oh. See, I'm not thinking in game logic, so I'm just like, if I push her over there, she'll still just say no, right? But apparently not. Apparently not, but yeah, that's a good catch there. At least the game is trying to push me in the right direction. Uh, I got a knife. <laughs> all right. The chest knife, oh god! That was fun. That was a fun scene. I enjoyed that. <laughs> I'm so glad I took this path. I'm having a ton of fun with this path. This is super goofy. Alright, give. Balloon ticket. Balloon ticket. Welcome back, Gipendi. My balloon is ready to service your sightseeing needs. All right, let's go see some sights, shall we? Indiana Jones and the Big Balloon Adventure. Sounds so charming. Use bloodstained knife with rope. We're free. Woo! Um, what? I don't remember where he said we're supposed to go. Okay, where are we going? Over here, maybe? That, that looks promising. We can't actually steer, I don't think. I don't think. want to land in the sea. How do we change course? I see roads over there. Oh, Nomad Camp! That looks promising. Uh, let's keep floating. I <laughs> just stole the guy's livelihood. He didn't even say anything either. That's weird. Another Nomad Camp over there. Let's see if we can, uh... I don't want to land in the sea. See if we can set down by this Nomad Camp. I don't think we can steer. I don't want to land in the sea. I, uh, if we can steer, I don't land in the sea. If we can steer, I, I have no idea how. Oh, there we go. Must be an updraft here. Nope, shoot. Gotta get over to that nomad camp. Oh, we're just going backwards now, dang it. Alright, this is tricky. All adventure game protagonists are sociopaths by design. Think of how many adventure games you play where they're like, let's let's drug these guys to get what we want. What where wait, where the heck am I going? Oh where are we going now? Oh, hang on. 
Alright, so the only ways I have to steer... Must be an updraft here. The only ways I have to steer are by dropping ballast and venting hydrogen and then just kind of riding the winds. Uh, how do I get to those nomad camps then? There's a nomad camp over there. Must be an updraft here. Oh, there we go. Must be an updraft here. Come on, it's right there. Must be an updraft here. All right, that's clearly not the right spot. Um. Must be an updraft. Dang it! This is super frustrating. Yeah, this guy. We need. We need uh, some minor trinket from this guy. Let's drug him and see what happens. <laughs> Let's see, the standalone arcade version of Ice Climbers has a wind effect? Oh, that sounds brutal. Please, no, Ice Climbers is already a very challenging game. <laughs> Shane's Balloon Adventures? Not quite as uh, exciting as I was hoping. Right, this is kind of a direction we want to go, I guess. Kind of going in the right direction. If I can land at this nomad camp. No, don't go that way, no! Damn it. Where are you even going? Nope. Now <laughs> we're just wandering down this way. There is a nomad camp down here, though. If I can get to the right spot... Must be an updraft. Damn it! Apparently that's not it. Must be an updraft here. <laughs> What even is this puzzle? I don't know! What does this game want from me? Must be an updraft. Oh my god! Go down! Go down! Must be an updraft. You jackass! <laughs> Let's drop ballast then. Ballooning out of control! Oh, what does this game want from me here? Oh, right there, right there. Right there. No, with the nomad. Nomad camp. Nomad camp. Nomad camp! No, dang it. So we, had, we were really high up there. Shoot. Um. This is madness. Well, there's nothing over here. We gotta get to a different screen if we're gonna go anywhere. We are getting kinda low though, so I think if we can get kind of near the Nomad Camp, maybe we could land there. On, please. Oh, kind of, kind of, sort of heading in the right direction. Oh, come on, come on. Nope. Ah. Uh. Aren't you coming? I'll stay here and watch the balloon. All right. I guess let's see if we uh. Walk to vast, uncrossable desert! Alright, I'll pass on that. 
Nope. There is, there is, we did, we missed. We missed. Oh, alright. Come on. Land in the mountains! Land in the mountains! No! Stay here and guard the balloon. Is there anything to see here? Vast uncrossable desert, vast uncrossable desert. Nope. Oh god. Alright. Well, let's drop some ballast, see if we can find something. Land on that big plateau? No. Must be an updraft here. All right, so if we bump into some place that we we can't go, it says something about an updraft. Nope. Yep. Feels like whenever I get somewhere I actually want to go, I can't drop hydrogen fast enough. Or I start getting caught up in a weird draft and go in a weird direction. Ah, uh, yeah, that's not where I want to be. Stay here and guard the balloon. And vast uncrossable desert, so nothing there. We're so close to this nomad camp. Alright. Drop ballast. No, not that way. Over this way. It looks like I'm on a road there, but it's not. Stay here and guard the balloon. You want the delicious tears? You're getting plenty of them today. Alright, take care of yourself, Saturn. Thanks for hanging around. So it seems like different heights have their own different directions. There we go, come on, come on! Yes! Please let this be something. Stay here and guard the balloon. Please let this be something. Alright. Good sir! I am desperately in need of help. Hello there. Salam, Fendi. What do you make of this map? Hmm. This X is considerably to the south and to the east. Southeast. Thanks for the information. Considerably to the south and to the east. All right, let's give it another shot then. All right, so let's see if we can go south. All right, so he said considerably to the south, so I'm gonna see if it's another screen past here. And then we'll see if we can head east after that. Alright, so that's to the south. And then we'll head east. Not very fast, but I'm kinda sorta getting the hang of this. See if there's a nomad village over here. Or something over here. There is a nomad camp. Oh, nope. There is a nomad camp over here, so. Is this LA Noir close enough? <laughs> Alright, let's 
Let's see if I can land here. <laughs> yeah, I'm not crashing into things nearly as much. Shoot. No, we're close. That landing is, is the hardest here. part. Stay here and guard the balloon. The landing is the tricky part. All right, um... Uh, we kind of spiral in, which is the tricky Stay part. Stay here and guard the balloon. So I can't just like get over it and then land. I have to get to the right place and then spiral down to it, I think. Let's see if we can get a little bit south of it, and I think maybe that'll work. There we go! Dead center! Dead center! Now we're getting it. Stay here and guard the balloon. By the time you're done, you'll master it. I'm going to be a balloon wizard right here is what I'm going to do. <laughs> yeah, I, I did a lot of bad things while driving. This is true. Can confirm. Excuse me, sir. Can a balloon get directions? Hello there. Salam, Fendi. What do you make of this map? Hmm. You are very close to the site. This X is a little to the south. And slightly to the east. A little to the south and Thanks for the information. to the east. So we're very close. Hello again. Salam again. Have you seen anyone digging around here? Well, I have seen foreigners with trucks and equipment. Trucks? Equipment? Where? It's hard to remember. The desert all looks the same, you know? But you live here! Tell me about the foreigners again. I have seen them. Can you imagine? They're digging holes in the sand. Let's see, Lost, welcome in! I Lots of nostalgia for this game? This will be my first time beating it if I can finish it. I'm loving it so far, though. Thank you, Nano, for the well played. I appreciate it. <laughs> Basically, Pearl, everything I did in L.A. Noir, they just have to be like, don't be this guy. Don't be this guy. That's all we gotta ask. Don't be this guy. Were they Nazis, do you think? They had pale faces like you, Fendi. That's probably Nazis, then. Uh, nice talking to you. Go with God, Fendi. Right, slightly south and slightly east, he says. So we're very close. Yeah, luckily all nomads in Algiers Desert in 1939 know perfect English. What are the odds? <laughs> Alright, so... Must be an updraft here. All right, so that's the corner of the map. Oops, nope. Must be an up. Must be an updraft here. Must be an updraft here. Nope, come on. Must be an updraft here. Must be an updraft here. Dang it. Must be an updraft no. here. Must be an updraft here. All right, we're gonna need to play this clever then. Loop around. Oh, that's it's going up high. Alright. All right, circle around. Nope. Nope. Must be an no, here. don't updraft. Must be an updraft here. Oh god, alright, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to play this cleverly. Alright, then hydrogen. Nope. Turn, turn. There we go. Dang it. Come on. Come on. Land, land. Oh, we just landed on him again. Dang it. 
Stay here and guard the balloon. Did you find a Christian nomad? I, I think they're just translating everything badly, honestly. Ugh, alright. He said a little to the south and a little to the east, so we gotta be super close. No, that's not the right way. Stay here and guard the balloon. Oh, this is super tricky. Because we can't just go east from here, right? I don't believe so. Must be an updraft here. No, we can't go east from here. So it must be right in this corner. Oh, there's, except there's a big X right there. That's not east! That's not east! What the hell, you troll? Must be an up must nope. be an updraft nope. here. Nope, nope, son of a bitch. That's not east at all! You goddamn asshole. <laughs> you spoiled Rin's fun, Chet! <laughs> I was gonna keep trying to cram myself into that corner over there. Even though there must be an updraft over there. Oh no! Oh god! Ha! Ow! I've seen better landings. Him too. Ha! <laughs> It's funny because we killed him. <laughs> Ink Slime, welcome in. How are you doing today, Ink Slime? Hope you are having an awesome weekend. <laughs> oh, God, did we finally find the place? Walk to Dig Site. Thank goodness. Oh, jeez. Uh, let's go ahead and hit five. I will save. Done with balloons forever. There we go. X, in fact, marks the spot. <laughs> yeah, we squished him like a Looney Tunes cartoon, except he's full of blood, so he's actually dead. <laughs> All right, so let's head to the dig site. Look what we found, an abandoned dig site. Abandoned, except for that guy Wait, we just where are you murdered. going? Whatever. I sense the presence of Nurab Sal. I should have guessed. Of course. Indy! Whoa! Hold on, Sophia. Indy! Sophia! Uh-oh. Oh, jeez, oh, we lost Sophia. Sophia? Yeah? Are you okay? I'm in deep. Good. I'll have you out in no time. Hurry! What is with their subtitles? I don't know why they're just uh, half gibberish there. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't abandoned, but we made it so. <laughs> yeah, what is up with the subtitles? I don't understand what's happening there. Oh, don't close the hood. Open the hood. Spark plug. There's a plug missing. All right, so we're not going to be able to get the car running until we get a spark plug. That's where the gas is. Hopefully it actually has some gas. The engine won't start for some reason. It's missing a spark plug. Alright. Uh, let's see, what else we got over here? Gonna need to find some way to get her out of that hole. Spark plugs. Why did it have to be spark plugs? In these old nemesis, probably. How are you doing today, elbow drop? <laughs> I don't know what was up with those abbreviations. And now we need to save Sophia and probably fix the truck. Oh wow, we have to walk all the way across the desert to get to that ladder. <laughs> Hopefully there's something interesting down there. Oh, it's very dark. 
sharp wood thing. It feels like a sharp stick of wood. Um... Spear? It feels like a sharp stick of wood. Uh, pick up spear? Ship rib, interesting. Uh... Long tubular thing. It's either a hose or a sleeping snake. I hope it's a hose. <laughs> Let's find out! It's a hose. We're good. Uh... Metal thing! It feels like a portable generator. Ooh! Pick that up. It's too heavy to pick up. Oh, lazy. Um... What else have we got here? We got a wall. It feels like a wall. Probably is a wall then. I find typically if something feels like a wall, it almost always is. Not always. Almost always though. Touch the line to be the thing. <laughs> Nazis under the hood, I should have known. It feels like a clay jar. Uh, pick up clay jar. Did we pick it up? I don't think we did. Pick up clay jar. There we go. It's an empty clay jar. Alright. What else we got over here? Blunt wood thing. It feels like a wooden peg. Eh. Take it. There we go. It's an ancient wooden peg of some sort. Alright. Uh, I got a wall over here now. Anything else to see? I don't think so. Alright, I guess we're heading back to the letter then. Uh, check out the tents over here. The tents are empty. Oh. The whole place looks abandoned. Alright. What else have we got over here? Uh, there's got to be something else we can use here, then. The tents are empty. The whole place looks abandoned. Oh, I didn't even notice that, Vino. That's really clever. That is really clever. All right. Oh, there's a table over here. Thing that almost fell in the hole. It's jammed in the hole. Uh, can we pull it? Or not the hole? I don't think that'll work. Pull table. I can't move it. Push table? I can't move it. I can't move it. Um... Alright, anything else around here interesting? Fence back there. Truck over here. No, that's not it. Oh! Uh, you could better check down the hole one more time. Pull a hole! You know, maybe it was like a cartoon and I could just take it with me. That would have been nice. <laughs> I'm glad, Will. I'm glad. Is there anything else down here? You never know when it's this dark. I might have missed something. Portable hole? I'd love a portable hole. That would be awesome. Oh, maybe we could turn the generator on. That could be a thing. Oh, little metal thing. Hang on. It feels like an on-off switch. Yes. Um, use... No. Um, where's the little metal thing? Switch. Push. Switch. No? Nothing's work. happening. Maybe it's out of gas. Ah, oh, dang it! Alright. Um... Dude, there's something else here, too. Another metal thing somewhere. If I can find that. Oh, there we go. It feels like a gas cap. Uh, let's see. Pick up. Where 
is it? It's so hard to see. Yes, there we go. Now it's open. All right, gas cap is open. Um. This is where the gas goes. All right. So I think we need to get some gas to get some lights down there. So let's see what we can do. Let's head back over to the truck. Let's see if we can siphon some gas out of it to put in that generator. And then maybe we can figure out what to do down there. So let's, once Indy stops moving, let's use hose with clay gel. I don't think that'll work. Dang it. Um, use hose with gas tank. Use clay jar with end of hose. That's enough. The jar is full. Excellent. Gas filled jar. There we go. And there should still be some gas in the car, it sounds like. But we get to have our cake and eat it too, as far as the gas is concerned. I like that. Alright. Now we just gotta find that damn thing again. Somewhere in the darkness. Alright, it's right there. So use gas filled jar with. Uh, oh, it's right there. Yes, feel like it. I've emptied the jar into the pipe. Okay, hopefully that was the actual gas filler pipe and not the exhaust pipe, because if that was the exhaust, we're very, very screwed. All right, push little metal thing. Let there be light. Okay. <laughs> well, we kind of brute forced that uh, to begin with. Would have been nicer if we just waited until we turned the lights on to pick stuff up. Chris Technician, thank you for the posture check. Oh, I could use one of those. Uh, just a reminder, unlike what my brother believed, you cannot tell the difference between diesel and gasoline by taste. Jesus. How is that man still alive? <laughs> Nano, that sounds like an excellent way to make money. I like it. GG, thank you, Grasshopper. I appreciate that. And Chris, thank you very much for the poster check. Oh, I needed that. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got down here. It's a painting of a chest or ark. I've seen that before. <laughs> yeah, we don't need any more of those. Thank you very much. Uh, what do we got over here? I see a lot of writing. Maybe that's something. Uh, no, we can't even look at that, unfortunately. Crumbling wall. It's a crumbling rock wall. Alright, uh, push crumbling wall. I can't move it. Uh, use ship rib with crumbling wall. There's a mural behind this crumbling rock. Ooh. What's it look like? It's a map of the island of Crete with a hole in the middle. Hmm, didn't I read about that in the Lost Dialogue? I believe you did. Interesting. It's a map of the island of Crete with a hole in the middle. Hmm, didn't I read about that in the Lost Dialogue? Alright, so that's a clue, I imagine. Uh, let's see, can we use the wooden peg? There we go. Um, let's see. Push. That's as far as it goes. All right. Uh, pull. All right, let's check the dialogue again. See if there's something in here we can use. All right. That's about the distance. Um, at many outposts, a sunstone sufficed. If sunset made the tall horns red. Whatever that means. Indy, I broke my leg! Sorry, doing excavation stuff. <laughs> Indy, I'm still in this hole! Hey, busy archaeologing gang over here. Give me a few. <laughs> I'll be there in a second. 
Let's see, Turretark has redeemed in Best in a Harvester sequel. See, so what we're seeing in this game right here is we're seeing a lot of deductive reasoning. We have a book full of clues, we have a bunch of items, we have a lot of dialogue that might give hints, and we put all those together to find very clever solutions to puzzles. Now that is exactly the kind of thing I don't want to see in a Harvester sequel. I want to see you have at least a hundred items in your inventory at all times, and completely random combinations needed to solve any given puzzle. That's what I want in my adventure games. Madness and tedium. Those two things, the two pillars that shall hold up the sequel that is Harvester 2. Think it over, and I think in your heart you'll see that you want it as well. <laughs> Alright, so at many outposts, a sunstone sufficed if sunset made the tall horns red. So I'm not sure what that means. But this might be an outpost. It's a stone disc with solar images carved into it. Let's see, so can we do anything with the sunstone here? There's nothing to hold it in place. Alright, so what if I use the wooden peg first? And then use the sunstone. There we go! Ooh, hello. Was it said? I didn't do anything. Hang on. Um, a sun zone sufficed if sunset made the tall horns red. All right. Sunset. Setting sun. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. Well, we've got sunset, we've got the tall horns. Ah, there we go. Sophia? I thought you were going to leave me in there. Believe me, I was tempted. <laughs> Lucky you didn't. Here's something we may need. A distributor cap. Ooh. It fell on my head when I sank into the hole. <laughs> and that's not all. Look! What is it? It's an amber fish on a string. I can see that. What does it do? <laughs> How should I know? I suppose you've come up with something more interesting. Maybe. Look where the sunstone is centered on the mural. The island of Crete. I'll bet Crete is where we'll find the greater colony of Atlantis, Plato mentioned. That sounds possible. Let's go! Oh, we're gonna have to figure out how to get out of here first. The fat of Atlantis! Oh, jeez. Sophia already found all there is to find. Alright, so we don't need to go back in there. With today's gaming capabilities, at least 10,000. I love it. <laughs> Dreamweb. That sounds like a terrible game like that. <laughs> it's a chicken with a pulley in the middle. Oh my god. Alright, what do we got here? It's a weird amber fish on a string. No idea what to do with that. Alright, um... Take the sunstone back. Can we not take it back? I didn't do anything. Do I have to pull it? Pull Sunstone. No, I can't. Can I not take it back? I thought we needed all three. I didn't do anything. Maybe we don't have to take it back? Maybe we can just leave it here? I thought we needed all three stones, but maybe they meant in sequence? Alright, let's look around here again first before we go too far. The fish's name is Amber. Oh, that's helpful. It's a generator. Um, does it have spark plugs? It's a distributor cap. Uh, if it has spark plugs, I don't see them. 
Oh, yeah, I should try pick up too. We got, we got lots of verbs. I'm not using all of them here. <laughs> I'm not making good use of my verbs. Pick up sunstone. There we go. I just want to pull it off the wall. <laughs> Let's also pick up the pagan hole in case we need that again. All right. We've got a lot of items right now. Is that a mural of the Ark of the Covenant? It is a mural of an Ark and Indy's like, I've seen one of those before. <laughs> Alright, use your mind. I literally have to use my words here. Literally. It's a generator. Alright, so... Let's see, can we open generator? There we go. Spark plug. I better turn the generator off first. I guess. Uh, push button. Pick up ceramic thing. Spark plug. There we go. All right. Get the hell out of here. What's your favorite Indiana Jones movie? Ooh. Ah. Uh, Probably Raiders of the Lost Ark. I think Raiders of the Lost Ark. I really do love that one. I'm curious what everyone else thinks, though. What do you got? Oh, Vino, he picks it up automatically. I was thinking he might, but I'm like, I'm not sure I want to chance it. All right, let's pick up the hose. I mean, Last Crusade's fantastic as well. You really can't go wrong there. I'm not a huge fan of, uh, uh, Temple of Doom. Alright, use distributor cap with truck. I don't think that'll work. Use distributor cap with... Yes, tank? That doesn't seem to work. Alright, uh, open hood. Use spark plug with engine. What do you know? A perfect fit. All right. Look at... And... It's got spark plugs with no distributor cap. All right, so we still need to use the distributor cap there. Use distributor cap with engine. It fits. All right. Close hood. All right. Uh... Get in there, man. No, don't. We did this before. Uh. Let's book passage to Crete, Sophia. Whew, we did it! Get to Crete then, by way of Algiers, of course. There were only three! I'm fine with it. <laughs> I am fine with it. Alright, so we've made it to Crete. So, hit F5 first and let's save. Crete. Alright. And ladies and gentlemen, I think this is going to be where we want to stop for the day. But we will be back tomorrow and we are going to be playing more of this. We're going to be picking up right where we left off. So I hope you will join us then as well. As always, I appreciate everyone joining me today. I had a blast. I'm loving this game. Fun puzzles, amazing writing, great voice acting too. I'm liking that too. And of course, the graphics are just beautiful. This is my favorite style of graphics. And I am just, I'm just, I'm just loving it. Eating it right up. That fate again, that terrible, terrible fate, but we'll be back soon, I promise. So I appreciate everybody being here. I hope I will see you all tomorrow, but if you can spare to stand around another minute, I would really appreciate that because we got one last thing we need to do before we call it a night, and that is... Let's see who all else is online. So if you're not done watching Twitch for the day, maybe I can send you over to somebody cool. Maybe a new friend, maybe an old friend, we shall see. So make sure to hit follow if you haven't already. That'll be the quickest way to find me tomorrow or at any point in the future. If you would like to come back, I'd love to have you here. And while I'm checking to see who all is online, there are some links in chat you might want to check out if you haven't seen them yet. 
We have a link to my Twitter, if you'd like to be notified about the stream that way. We have a link to my YouTube, if you'd like to see any of the games we've played in the past, or if you just want to get caught up with this playthrough, all of the videos are going to be going up there. And we have a link to my Discord, if you would like to chat with myself or the rest of the community outside of the stream, feel free to join us there, everyone is welcome. And where do we want to go today? we got some options. We do have some options today. I think... I think we, we have stopped over to this recently, but this is a game that I legitimately want to see. So this seems like a fantastic place to go. So, ladies and gentlemen, I would absolutely love it if you would join me as we raid none other than King Radnoff. He is an excellent retro streamer. He was away from Twitch for a while, but now he is back with a vengeance. And today he is playing, this is what's interesting, today he is playing a Tintin game for Game Gear, I believe? We double check, make sure I get it right. I believe so. I believe so. I know it's in, yeah, Game Gear. Tintin in Tibet for Game Gear, which I've never seen. I don't know too much about Game Gear, but that sounds awesome. So I want to check that out. So why don't you join me over there? Say hi to Radno. Uh, hang out for a bit, throw a follow if you like what he's doing. But hey, if you've got other things to do, I will just say as I always do. Have a good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you're at in the world. And I will see you folks tomorrow for some more Indiana Jones. Take care of yourselves till then, everybody.